Here we go gaming. Hey. Hello, welcome back to Here We Go Gaming. Uh, myself, Jordan, and Dan have a battle report for you today of Sylvan F, my bread and butter, versus That's Dan's. Deepkin. Yeah, Deep versus the, the Deepkin. Um, we are. I'm running a tournament list that I ran last week. Um, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to make up a new list. That's going to be fun. It's a scary list. Yeah, I mean, it's, we, we will, we'll get into it, but Dan's got an extra shock, so there's a few little changes from the list that we've saw yeah. previously. Um, I'm going to do battle plan first. We're playing Nexus Collapse. So six objectives on the board. Uh, it's usual one, two, more for yeah. the basic scoring. But then at the start of the second battle round, whoever's behind in, in basically victory points for the game can swallow up the two objectives, remove them from the game completely, and when they do that, if any units are on it on a four up, those units suffer D3 moles. Is it we, every unit within six, is it? So every unit touching yeah. an objective will basically cool. take the damage on a four up. But you don't have to remove objectives. So if you like in the position and you like the extra objectives, you can leave them as they are. But in theory, by the fourth battle round, there could be no objectives on the board. Right. If, yeah. yeah, so that's, that's the thing. I've never played, had, it, ha, had that happen yet. I don't think you'd want it because you'd be behind. Yeah, so yeah for me, it'd be really point. bad, yeah, because I need the late game. <laughs> but uh, so that's, that's the situation there. Um, we, I'll go into my list yep. uh, and then I'll, I'll set you up with yours. So we're running Winterleaf again. I took this to tournament. I wanted to make it work. This is basically the same list I played against Dan's Gits a couple of weeks ago, yeah. um, which kind of got slapped a bit, but I'm hope more hopeful today. Uh, grand strategy is going to be overshadow. So kill your battle line, have one of mine left. Yep. Um, I think I'm a flush 2000, so no worries about the triumph there. And I'm running the reaping. So that's the 12 inch strike and fade, 12 inch teleport distance. Um, other than that, we have units of, we've got Belfinos, basically fits into every army, he's great. New favourite. He, he really is, <laughs> he, he's, abs he's just got too much, too much utility now to him. Yep. Um, we have an Arch Revenant back here, Arch Revenant is the quick with anything, it's just a basic, you know, like give the, give the plus one wound buff. We have a Branch Witch General hidden behind the tree here, uh, that's gonna, she's going to know War Singer, so that's plus three inches to my move, um, if I start a move within 12 of her. She's also going to have the Vestibule Gem, and knows the spell Virgis Harmony, so that's all basically auto-casting a spell that can't be unbound. Nice, easy battle tactic. That's pretty much all she's cool. there for. Outside of that, we have a battle line unit of 10 Dryads up front. We have a unit of five Tree Revenants here, a unit of five Tree Revenants here. One of the Tree Revenants is doesn't, isn't on its base because I snapped them. Well, Taco snapped them, and I haven't been able to glue them back together yet. Took off with. Yeah, that the dog just ran away with them. <laughs> uh, we have a Tree Lord up here as well. And off the board, we have a Spite Swarm Hive. And then the two big boys is six man unit of Kurnos with swords, six man Spite Rider Lancers, and that's it, one drop, which means you will end up going first, but I've already, you should, we're already oh, yeah, pretty aware of this. But Dan's going to run you through his list before we get into that. Yeah, so I'm going to Deepkin again. It's the Nautil, Nautler, or Nautilus, the turtle one, basically. So uh, the turtle counts as battle line, and it has the Crushing Jaws uh, Monsters Rampage, so its fins and teeth can turn to minus three rending combat. Yes. Which is great. So, uh, my general is the Alapin King. Uh, sorry for pronunciation, Deepkin players. I, I can't pronounce any Deepkin lists. Uh, so, he's got, I've got him Arcane Tome and he's got Unstoppable Fury for the command trait. So, basically, that's the one where in high tide he just goes crazy with the amount of attacks near people. Great. Because he's fantastic. And then he's got the Void Chill Darkness, so it's minus three to hit him within three of them. So, if you're in combat with him, it's going to be minus one to hit. All right, okay. Uh, and then other heroes, I've got a tie caster down here. She knows Horfrost. And then I've got uh, Aspect to see over there. He's got the Tides of Steed, so he can teleport around the board and do some shenanigans, hopefully. Uh, okay. Then Battle Line, as I mentioned, I've got my Turtle. And I've got a unit of Thralls and a unit of Reavers. Uh, yeah, I think I should maybe change the Reavers to more Thralls, but... I'm winning it now. I like Reavers. I like the, they are good. The, the, they don't often get your frowls in, is the yeah. thing. But Reavers, I think, they're are more expensive. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. Cheaper. So I can understand the trade. And then I've got four sharks. I've got one extra shark today. I went out and got one uh, to replace Lotan from my other list. So it's going quite good. And then I've just with the enough points, I've got Geminids of Shaikh, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so hopefully stopping some commands on a two up. So it's quite big because it's like the whole turn. Yes, yes. So you got to get them in range. Do you, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, cast in range of 8 inch and then like move in yeah. 8 inch. So it's, it's quite... As utility. I considered using them in an earlier list. Yeah, I just yeah. haven't found the points for it yet. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I'm doing overshadows as well. That's so what I was I'm going to be doing ask. exactly yeah. the same thing. Okay. So it's going to be battle line hunt as the day. Yep. 
Um, everyone, if we're on Skycam, little objective mark as are the overgrowns. Set them up before deployment. Uh, you were a four drop as well. Yeah, I was a four. I didn't, I didn't cover that before. Yeah. I, do, you, do you have acolytes or not? I didn't. No. Ask, no okay. I've only got one, um, one, what do you call it? The wizard. Locus. Yeah, yeah. Locus. Okay. So, with that, we're ready to go into the game. I'm seeding first point to Dan. I don't want it. Uh, so first point. First point. <laughs> yeah, first, well, actually, I will be seeding first point as first well. Point. Yeah. <laughs> so Dan will start with Ineff Deepkin turn one. Cool. So first things, I think my battle tactic. I'm going to go straight into magical dominance. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably out of range. Yeah, out of range. So spells. I'm going to do. Uh, Wolf of Primal first, sorry? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, don't get mine. I'll be taking the extra spell on the branch, which for going second. Yep, that's fine. If I can get... Uh, I do get yeah, Primal so first, though. Both get one Primal. Um, then, hero actions on my general, I'll roll for a command point. Which I do get. Uh, do. Same onto the branch, which, which I do get. Probably not going to be used, but it's there. And then, I'm going to cast... Um, the the tides spell the teleporting spell on them. yes okay <laughs> god uh five I'm gonna, wait there is that cast i want to say a teleport's got to be a six plus surely i think it's Could a be six wrong. steeds of tide cast on a five cast, cast on, on a five? Oh, yeah. nice okay i think it's because he can only pick a hero right okay but uh so yeah he picks himself lovely where's he going gonna go over there over here okay Stop you moving around. Do I take damage off that building then? No. Right. It's, all, it's only the trees that give the proper tree that oh, gives right. you the damage. I was just anything over going. No, like, it's going to no. slap me. If you were within one, I would probably tell you. So. Right. Um, so, the only other thing I might do is. You, you can't stop him either, can you? No. Can you stop any more wizards? Probably not. All oh, right. No, they're above back here, so you you are free casting. Um, right. I'm gonna do arcane shield on um, general. Uh, the mystic shield. I'm assuming. Mystic yeah. shield. Sorry. Okay. I'm with you. Oh my god. My that lands there. on a five. Yep. I'm gonna give it to the turtle. Oh, you want wants the turtle alive? Just in case. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'll do Horfrost down here. Yeah. Six isn't enough. Do you want the primal uh, on that when there's a one there? With the one, I'm going to leave it. Yeah. I don't think I need it first turn. I just wanted it. I've got one more spell over there. I'll do an arcane bolt just yep. in case. That uh, lands. Cast. There's my battle tactic done. So, I think that's quick, easy hero phase. And we'll go into movement and we'll be back in a second. Right, hey, we're back after some fish swimming. Uh, so, before I mention what I've moved, uh, I did men briefly mention at the beginning of the game... Uh, I was meant to pick out my rituals because in my mind there's only two that I can use now so I just I, I just totally forgot to mention it so I'm going to run the rituals of surging streams so second turn I get plus one to run and charge rolls and then I'm also going to run the Namami one where my troops get a five up ward in combat so why I didn't go the two that I always go is the, the top one Jordan doesn't have shooting well I've got one but it's 12 inch range yeah, so, so it makes no effective. difference and then the bottom one is retreating. I do mortal wounds on the fourth turn, which is really good. But Jordan's army, I can't retreat from. Yes, so winter leaf. <laughs> winter leaf is wonderful. So yeah, just to let you know, they're, they're the rituals I'm using. Yeah. And uh, first turn for people who don't know, I'm in cover because the tides change. I should have mentioned that really. But uh, you know yeah, it. no, it's fine. I've, Everyone I've knows them a few it. Times, yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you look on the board now, we've got. Uh, I've just kind of like swam up with the turtle, and we've kind of like formed a little bubble, as I like to do. Um, I've just ran the archers up there and the sharks are followed behind so hopefully get some pecs shooting out and I did run these just to get within three of that and to like keep the turtle safe yeah. from any charges shuts down me but teleports to that one just this I've still got that available you've got but one you've so limited. you can hit here yes so there's possibly a shark in danger zone but that, there's nothing I can do about it I don't have enough screams <laughs> so we're just going to go into shooting and then it'll be end of turn because I'm doing new charging. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I oh, can't okay. charge anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you've run everything, haven't you? I've run everything in front of me. Yeah. So, 
So that's it. Yes. And is that in? Yes. Yeah. Right. So if you, I'm going to do those two sharks at the same time. If that's yeah. all right. That is absolutely fine. I'm doing martial memories. So uh, uh, that is their war scroll. They can basically get an all-out defense for free. Oh yes, I and it doesn't count as being issued. Um, yeah, so they yep. can. But it's once per battle round. So this is their battle round all-out defense. Yep. Now. Two sharks shooting over there. Yep. It's threes and threes. One red, D three damage. Oh my god. Three missed. Actually, yes. wasn't miss more. Bad. Miss more. Hit more. Wounding. Miss more. Three, he wounds a minus one. So five ups because of the all out defense. I pass. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh. Of them. <laughs> Jammy gate. Dig deep, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. I was expecting a least one. I there. thought you were going to pop a couple, eh? So you've got the tree lord or you've got the dryads? Oh, uh, the turtle will pop at your tree lord. Yes, what is uh, the rend of the tree lord? The minus rend of the one. turtle. Minus one. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the sharks. What I've just done there. Into the Tree Lord, and it's how many shots? Four shots. He's basically got two crossbows of the sharks. I'm going to let you do it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. There's a little ladybug on the dice tree. Yeah, I saw that. It's an omen that the trees are going to do well. But it's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Mother Nature's leaving, yeah. <laughs> trees again. Oh, this oh. could be bad, actually. Five saves at minus one. Five saves minus one puts me on four ups. Uh, pass three, fail two. You're doing well. That's three damage. Three damage? Yes, I'll grab one of my dice for that. Carry on. Uh, this shark will shoot the tree lord. Tree lord as well? Is What's the other one in range of? I'm going to quickly uh, check. Just them. Just them? Yeah, just the... But the they're red one. Um, so this one's shooting... Your tree lord, I, you, know, you, you know what, I'll use the free one because at this point, why, I don't know why I didn't use it before, but yeah, right. <laughs> the free one's gone. One missed. Two saves. Minus one, back to three ups. Pass one, fail one. Three, three damage. damage. Puts me on six. Yeah. Shocked it better than the turtle. Yeah. And then Wish the last one on though. the dryads. It is dryads, isn't it? Yes. So you might just want to hit and wound here. Uh, even on shooting? Yes. Oh, nice. Dryads. Fours and fours then. I've got two sixes. One wound. Minus, Minus one. one. Sixes. Nope. Deep damage. damage. Two. Two. In the lab yes. already. <laughs> no, I, I just had to quickly do a little bit of math there just to check Make something. Sure you're but not I'm fine. Queen, see, you? Well, that and also objective control is very important here yeah, because I've got yeah. a plan. Cool. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's all shooting because uh, my small archers ran because they would have been out of range anyways. So that goes on to scoring. Yeah, battle shock because uh, I've lost some dryads. Yeah. Um, I will. Do I spend? I'll spend. Just so I don't have to run, risk any of them going. Yeah. Would they have failed? Yeah, if I roll a six, I think one or two run, and it's worth to just keep the extra bodies in. Cool. Yeah. I thought trees would have been more brave. The dryads on us. They are <laughs> they are town folk spirits, basically. Yeah. Right. Um, so scoring, I've got my battle tactic with uh, magic dominance. Yes. And I've got one, two, three objectives, so one, two, and more. Yeah, so you'll score full five. Yep. And then it would flip over to me. Yep. I will. So I'll add a, yeah, I gave my command point there. I'll do passive heals, because otherwise I usually forget. And let's check one or two things, I guess, because if I'm out of range of casters, probably not, but if I am... I've shifted up this one. So, not in range of my branch witch, though. Is it just them two I have to worry and about? And this one. Uh, he has one. Because Arcane Tome lets you dispel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not out of range, though. Be too far behind. So, cool. Magical Dominance seems like the easiest one to do right yeah, now, so I'll go sense. for Magical Dominance. Um... We'll roll primals. Yep. Yes. 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 So we've got three. I mean, I've only got two spells, so we'll see how this goes. But uh, And then um, I think I will roll a command point onto... Oh, yeah. Um... I'll roll a command point onto the branch witch again, which I get. Uh, I'll do it on my little sorceress last. Yep. Yep. Cool. Start of your phase, I'm going to roll... A dice on a three-up Belfinos is going to turn. I think we're going to go this one over Grown. Yep. Okay. Which Ooh. I don't get. That's fine. It's not It's not essential to the plan, so I'm not too worried there. Uh, right. From there, 
That was Stosh. We do mid here phase now. I've got two spells to do. I'm just double checking if there's anything else to mention. No. So I think I might do Verdress Harmony on the Dryads just to bring back D3 of them. Just just because I can. Yeah, just to spite you. The other spell would be a bit different. You only got two casts in this yes. list. Well, one base well, one, and then one yeah. extra, yeah. So, I think we'll do that, just because extra dryads is fun. However, I could yeah. also go a tree over to here and get one into here. So, no. Right, th yeah, I've, I've worked it out. So, we're going to do the, the free cast, because we need a guaranteed yeah. battle tactic. So, yeah. if I at least do this, I know I've, I'm sorted. So, on a one, I'll take D3 mortals for the yep. branch witch, okay? Oh. Which I don't. No. But I'll bring back D3 Dryads for three. Cool. So I um, can't do that. So two Dryads will come back in and they're just basically going to flood here. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll pull them off the base because they are not going to be sticking on there anymore. Right. That's one spell done. That would be Magical Dominance pass regardless, but we'll roll the last one. I think we're going to go to summon a tree over here. Yep. Oh, six. Still <laughs> oh. oh, I think it's it. I think six it's, sounds about six for for a faction spell. Six or seven has to be race, but we'll check. Where's the spell law? Law of the deep. It's not the deep wood. It's law of the silver F. Cast and value of six. Yeah, nice. I do think so. Holy within oh. eighteen. That was my last spell. It's gonna go here, but I think we'll probably just cover it in the in after the movement phase. So you'll see it appear in a second. Oh, yeah, can't so do it that way. we'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, so it was a slightly cautious uh, movement phase for me, but uh, what we did is we already controlled this because the Dryads ended the previous Battleshock phase on there. Yep. So I have that. I have then just ran the Dryads over here. I just rolled for that to contest, contest this. Dan decided not to redeploy onto the objective. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I could have redeployed on the objective, but I kind of wanted a scream on me, guys, because yep. you did place a tree there, and I was scared like things could come It was around. a threat. Yeah, it was a threat. Then from there, we uh, teleported the... Uh, tree Ravens back here. We walk the Tree Ravens here into this cover. Yep. Um, we moved Belfinos up, but we, we'd moved the Spirit Riders up first, so I knew what, what the 18 inch aura was that I needed to give them the run and charge because I auto ran them six. So I had like 23 inches for, um, movement range. I didn't use it all, but I just got uh, you know very close to you. Yeah. Again, no redeployment. I can fly. I'm not going to be hindered by any terrain getting that charge in, and he would only maybe extend it by one or two inches by yeah. the If I redeploy, see, I was really humming and hard because if I redeployed, I was going to like make a line, but then I would give him more option to fly over me and yes. like, beat my wizard. Yeah. And if would. I moved her, it would also hinder yeah. my wizard. So, I kind of shouldn't have moved her up. <laughs> it, it is a tough one. Uh, from there, I didn't. We didn't bother moving any of these. We didn't bother moving the curl offs. Yep. Uh, the tree lord just pulled back a little bit. Um, I, I never want to commit turn one. Like I'm not going to win the game on a double turn on turn one. So there's no point in playing for it. Um, Definitely not a destruction player. Yeah. No, I'm not a destruction player at all. <laughs> at all. Uh, maybe one day in future, but <laughs> not, not this day. So from there, we didn't have any shooting cars. Yep. Tree lord only 12 inches. Uh, we've got to go charging with the Spite Raiders. I ran with the Dryads so they won't be charging. They are just Come objective on, capping. Devil one. And that's it. So <laughs> Three. Ooh, three, but you didn't redeploy and I move within three. So I'm definitely good with that. Yeah, because... Well, yeah. I had well, space you, to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was awkward bases. So I didn't like kind of play that's around fine. with it too much. I so, think, yeah, three and a half anyways, but it still works. Yeah, so I'll just basically get the lead in. But they pile in six inches, so I'm not really concerned. Oh, so you're going to get anyway. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. There's no there's no worries here about anything that I'm doing. So him. Okay, coherency might be an issue, though. Well, could he not? Uh, it's more just because of the short distance. If you've got pile in six, though, you could... Uh, you've, got, you've got room. Yeah. So I don't think you're allowed to end out of coherency. Yeah. So I will have to, might have to pull him back, but then I'll just leap forward with the six-inch leap, so that's not a problem. So what we'll do is we'll pull him up to there. And we'll yeah, pull. well, six inches will pretty much... Oh, there. yeah, I'm getting in. I just basically have to be a bit more careful where I'm yeah. putting them all. So we'll say, we'll say that, because the six inches allow us to spread wide anyways. Okay. That's charges complete. Did you want to do an on each hell? I'll just prompt you in case. Um, what's your... It's a four up save, but the five wounds are pop. It's hard to see. I think that turtle's just out. Uh, I 
This is a tight one. Nah, the, the angles, it, it's uh, just out. Just out, yeah. Yeah, the angle's a little bit weird on the upper camera. Uh, so, the... Shark is in, though. Yeah, I'm just thinking because all out attack, all it's defense in a valley, but I guess I don't need all out attack because mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to kill you. So yeah, I'll use my free command point to do an all out, uh, all out attack with uh, all out. Only shell. shell. Yeah, yeah. God, my well, my brain today mm. with words. Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, there's some ones. It's uh, fours and threes. Fours and threes to two. The minus one. Two. Two saves at minus one. Five ups. Pass. Yeah, fill right. both. Fill both. Six damage. Six damage. Kills one. Oh, uh, worth it. So we'll get rid of the him. awkward one. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the awkward one's gone. And then we'll add a rune on uh, to the banner. The banner. Interesting. Yeah. It doesn't matter because they'll probably they'll probably be fading out here. Yeah. Okay. So activation would happen. We're gonna go into uh, the actual combats now. So six inch pile in. Let's see what we want to do here. So you can definitely has to come off the base well, every didn't time. Make a line. If I made a line, you could have piled in over me. <laughs> this is very true. You've got to be careful against spider alliances for that exact reason. Um, because I would go into... I mean, I've yeah. got to be careful with strike and fade distances. But I would, be, I would probably go to try and mess you up a bit. Um, the shark, I'm very tempted. I just want to check something. So I can basically go... Yeah, I can get the full range here. So I'm going to go like there. Yep. And I should be within 12 from there. Is that right? In? Yeah, that's yeah. in. Yep. And then the next guy's going to come in and do the same. They got two inch reach, by the way. Yep. Next guy is going to fill the gap. What's your rend? Max rend? Two. On the lances, one on the, the mandibles. Okay, that's okay. So I think we probably finish there. And I think I probably I haven't got the I haven't got all of them in. I've got two into the shark and three into the other guys. Two inch range. Two inch range yeah. on everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm spending another command point in all out attack. I'm gonna So I've got two into the shark, three into the reaver. Two range your math. Two so, ren on the lancers, and there's like four attacks each of those. Because technically my army currently is, is in, in cover. cover. So you get plus and one. Plus two. one for the turtle. Yes. But I might all out defense the shark, uh -huh. so it'll always be on plus one. Uh, yes. So I'll all out defense the shark. Uh, the lassie will tell him to all out defense. Okay. The wizard. So what we'll do is we'll go, to the shark. we'll go to the shark first then. Yep. Six. Eight Just attacks into the shark. Lances are going to be twos and threes. Yep. So these are the Ren 2 ones. Oh, there's some ones. Oh. oh. Taking the tray with you. I um, wasn't happy with the roll. Threes. Yep. Not so good. Three of them. So Ren two, but then it puts still you're on a one up. So uh, like well, no, one. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, no, um, not quite. So four. Um, Are they so four up base? Three up. Three up. Yeah. One goes there. One in. How much damage? Uh, one. One. Yep. Yeah. One mandibles now. Yep. Yeah. Threes and threes. But they're not a very hard hitting unit. These. Uh, just Got one at Ren one. Three up. Fine. Fine. Then into the Reavers. Four. Okay. Eight. In my head, that shark is dead. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no. I'd have to have buffed my guys up. Yeah. I didn't do that. So, nine, oh, ten, yeah. ten lancers. These are twos and threes. Cool. They're feeling it for the uh, the the thrall. The thralls? Yeah. Yeah. They don't like them. That is six, seven, seven at Ren two onto the thralls. So it'll be normal save, which is five up. Oh, three fail. So one damage. One damage each. And then the mandibles, six, nine. How many dice did I just roll there? Did I roll the ball? I might cut myself out of attack. I don't know. I'm going to just play on as if I didn't. So these four for the mandibles now. Nine of these, these are going to be threes and threes. Yep. So that is two, four, five, rend one. So rend one, it'll be fours. 
Fifth oh, half tell. <laughs> Four more Four dead. Die. And then I will strike and feed because I measured this to double check. I was within 12. Uh, it will come all the way back to here. Cowards. I don't, I don't commit until uh, a later turn, usually. Yeah, yeah. I played a magic cube before. <laughs> I remember. Right, so, from there, let's just double check. Uh, should be holy within 12 there, which I look good. Um, I'll heal, I'll do, I'll get rid of that wound now, because I'll I'd heal it at the end of the combat phase for the fact that I killed models with the unit, okay? Yep. So they are going to be back. Um... Probably not played as defensive as I could have, but that's fine. So you can go there. You can go there. That's it. Cool. We would go to uh, Battle Shock, of which I have one. I'll spend a command point on that. I'll use my last command point uh, shield. To well, pass, just pass, to pass that unit, yep. Aye. Scoring. I will go score one, two in Battle Tactics, so I'll score four. Yep. Okay. Now, we roll off, but then... I'll possibly blow up some of these terrain pieces, these objectives. Blow them up. So I'm, I'm, you're five. I'm four. Oh, I've, deli yes, the I've deliberately, oh, I've right, deliberately yeah. made sure I didn't get more there. Oh, right, you made it easy right. for me, but yeah. I was not. I, I knew I didn't want more, so I'm gonna blow up two objectives probably. To be honest, I immediately just forgot about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Priority. Six. I'll get it. Yeah, that's fine. I was not gonna take it anyways. So let's blow up some objectives. Yeah. I reckon we're going to just blow up the two on your home base. Yeah, makes sense. Um, we can we can leave them as dead if you want and just kind of, I don't know how you want to mark um, this. Well, we can, I would remove it, but there's a lot of models on them. So I'll put a red dice on them. Okay. So, going to do some rolls now. Four ups, D3 mortals on all the units that are contesting yeah, so those objectives. two shocks over here. I'll double check the rules oh, just to wait. make sure that it's... Um, actually, can you double, because you've got the book there. Yeah. Just double check. It, it's just contesting, not wholly on. Roll dice for each unit within six, not wholly within. So just within, right? Lovely. So lots of so rolls to be done here. Within. Uh, injured shark first. Yeah. Four up D three moles. He's nope. fine. Other shark. He takes uh, two mortal wounds. Two. Um, you ought to grab a couple of these potentially. 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 Isn't... Well, I got quite a few rolls. Who to next? Make. Little locust uh, soldier. Yeah. Yes. For two mortal wounds. Two five ups. He takes them. Yep. Big turtle. Yes. For three mortal wounds. Damn it. I made mistakes. <laughs> shark, <laughs> shark closest to the big house. Yes. For one mortal wound. Okay. Sec uh, next shark. No. And I think that might be it. Ah, uh, nope. Your frolls are on as well. Yep. Go for it. Frolls are fine. It was one wound on the shark, yeah? Yes. Oh, but it was the one closest to the house. I feel oh, on the sorry. next one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're the only two I've swallowed. There was two houses, to be fair. <laughs> oh, that's a big house. It's an big, inn. Yeah, yeah, big, big, big house. It's all right. Um, that is it. Okay, not as bad. As that wasn't that bad. That, it was, it's a couple of nice wounds, though. I'll take it. Um, and now both, your mid, now both your home objectives are dead, so I can basically force you into the midboard. So Yeah, I was coming there anyway. Yeah, yeah. So have at it. Go for it. Turn two, I can run, shoot, slash, charge. Mm -hmm. Always love the slashes. Um, so, right. I'll be taking an extra cast again, so you're aware. Yeah, um, battle tactic. I'm going to do... Do 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 do. The problem is, I want to get stuck in at the minute. I could. So what I'm thinking is, I could do. I'm thinking maybe surround and destroy with cheeky, but then I'm putting things out of line. Uh, I'm tempted by Intimidate the Invaders, but it's an easy one for later. It can uh, be, yeah, when you've got less units on the board, definitely gets easier. You know what, I'm just going to do Intimidate the Invaders, screw it. I'll get that one out of the way. Mm -hmm. I'll struggle the last couple of turns, why not? So, 
Um, hero shenanigans. I'm going to. I've got two command points. Uh, I think. Do I roll for a command point or do I heal? Who's in the uh, I'm going to roll for a command point on my general. Command point on the general. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to command point on the branch rich as well, I think. Um, yeah. Which I do get. Uh, do I want to spend it straight away? Ooh, mighty tempting. Um, yes. I'm going to spend my free one straight away yep. on a rally. Okay. On a one day's rally. On... Risky. Yeah, yeah. Five up. No, no. it's fine. Um, okay, so. It wasn't a high value play. But it was it was it was like it would have free if I got it if I got it it just freed up another option for later. Now I'm having to maybe put another uh, resource into it. Wolf primal. Yes. Yes. You no, know, just Who the one. one? Uh, I'll start with. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Frost on the last. Actually, no. I'll do Mystic Shield on the general first. Yep. Cast on a six seven. Yeah, you're good. I, I don't. I'm not in range. Okay. I'm thinking not. should I have probably done willpower it's on that. going on the turtle again. Yeah, I probably um, should have done willpower. Never mind. Over there, I'm going to cast uh, Steeds of Tide. Yep, so this is the teleport. That's done. Cast. Yeah, you're good. Where are you going? Oh, that arcane bolt's vanished. We'll get yeah. rid of that. Ta. So, the question is, where do I want to go? I think I just do go. I think... Fear of collapsing things, he might have to be my objective cap. <laughs> How many you've got on there? For, uh, four. Four guys. Four guys. Um, yeah, he's going to go there. Okay. Uh, then he's going to cast Geminids. He's going to go for Geminids? All right, okay. Oh, my God. On a five? I don't know if Geminids goes off on a five. Do you want to check uh, before you roll? Can you just stop him? Can you check if you... I might be able to. Do. I'll check for the Branch Witch. Uh, yes, the Branch Witch is in range to attempt a dispel. Right. So the question is, because I can do a free re-roll with this guy. Unbind? Dispel? It's cast on a six. It's going to veto it. So it's whether I want to re-roll or add a dice... Possibly get the. I think I'll reroll. Yeah, and I'll save the time I would have also rerolled to be honest with you. So just don't um, don't miscast. No. Four. No, it's fine. No geminids. That's annoying. Um, last spell, Horfrost. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so not cast, and she takes D three. Do you want to add a primal into that roll? Really? Sure. Five. Sure. Two. Five up. Uh, uh, we'll five up once. Yeah. It's not a primal, is it? Yeah. How many wounds does that count? I have no idea. She's not. <laughs> she's not in a good. Got to, got to be five or six. Got to be five or six. She's I got can't, five. So I was going to say left. I cannot imagine that being more. One yeah. left. It's not. It's not a little goblin. Like the objective crushed her legs yeah. and then she just like burnt her eyes out with a spell. She's not having a good day. She's not having a good day. Um. So I think that's all of hero shenanigans. So we'll go on to movement. We'll be back in a sec. Hello, we are back. Uh, I've done some movement, so you'll probably see things have things have flown a lot. <laughs> so uh, my Alakin Kin, he ran. Uh, he used a command point to run six, and then the plus one from the right that I've got. So he's, he just flew up all the way down here. Hopefully, I'm just going balls to the wall. I want to punch Jordan out of his trees. Try it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've flown up a bit uh, with the sharks, trying to avoid getting too many things an objective and then I've just uh, walked them up there uh, so they can still shoot over there because mm -hmm. uh, they, they move quite fast uh, so yeah and that's pretty much it so we'll go into shooting we'll start with uh, the 21 shots going into those uh, dryads yes up there. so you might minus one hit one wound, hit wound. Yep. But that's it cool. and I am doing nothing so because uh, double check am I within 9 are you within 9 the, oh, you get... uh, the, is it with us the unit I'll double check. No, if it, well, actually, the whole unit's within nine. Oh, never yeah. mind. I don't need to check. I'll check at a later date. Yeah, yeah. Did you get extra shots? Did you get extra rend or what? Twelve. I get plus one a hit. Oh, okay. So it just cancels out the minus one. But then if you're all out attack, you'll be plus one. 
Yeah, but I've only got two commands, so I'm not going to do it. Okay. I need them for combat. Go for it. Are you doing out? No. Threes and fours. Uh, yeah, that did not look nice. That glass half empty mindset, Dan. You, you, your eyes went to the ones and twos. Yeah. There were still plenty of three ups. Your mind always does that. Yeah. Now, Unless it's a few now it'll go bad. For me. Uh, you know what? That was good. That was good. <laughs> three, six, seven, eight. Eight. Saves. Minus one. Sixes. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Oh, sixes though, so uh, it's expected. So six of them will die. Oh, uh, the sixes, then that was good. Yeah. Two sixes, not bad. There you go. Not six bad. Dead. Wait, uh, did, I, did I get rid of the leader there? I might have. I forget which one the leader was. We'll just say that. I'll lose the body. And you know what? I reckon it's probably worth just getting rid of that unit. That shark's going to, like, no scope them. Yep, still minus one to hit the wound. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I'll clear the dice tray. Fours and fours. Two hits. Fail them both. Sixes. Oh, oh, he gets one in. Okay. <laughs> both of our wills went into each dice. Ah, uh, no, we're minus one. So yeah, that's in for D three. For three. One. Uh, we will get rid of you. He's still up though. Damn it. Just die. <laughs> um. So we're gonna go somewhere else and think. Okay. We might come back to them. We might. Right. We'll see how I feel. Turtle. Uh, I have options. I think Turtle shoots the Tree Lord. The Tree Lord? Yeah, you're going to do it, I think. You've got three more to go. What are you talking about the to do? Four four? Shot, eight shots. Eight shots? Yeah, the Turtle has double. Oh. Threes and threes, one red and D3 damage. No. Go. Cool. No, you can go for it. Threes and threes. Uh, not great, three hits. Three wounds. Minus one, yep. four ups. Hey, only pass one, so two fail. Six damage. Six damage puts him on to 11. Still up though. You've got wounds three you left. Up. Okay, I can do that. Closest shark is going to shoot one? Yeah, I'm, well. not, I'm not doing anything. Uh, three hits. Three wounds. Four ups. Ooh, that's death. Got to, yeah, no, it has to be death because uh, there is... Oh, no, three, three. damage. Uh, it's still death because oh, 11, 14, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. So the tree lord's gone. Yep. Okay, Next. first hurdle dealt with. Okay. Because that tree lord annoyed me last time. The tree lords, yeah, but like, this is the thing. So that tree lord doesn't do as much as you're thinking against this army. Oh, I guess. It's a horde, it's a horde control like, unit, not an yeah. individual guy. That's just, just something to keep in mind. He's still dead. <laughs> so you go for the last dryad? Uh, yeah, last dryad. Okay. I'll finish it off. So, who are we? Fours. Fours, yeah. Go on, fail this one, I'd laugh. Uh, Four. Haha. Uh -huh. Sixes. No, dead. No, dead. Don't have to roll it. You're good. Right, Dryad's gone. What, uh, last go shark. In one two. Belfanos? You want to go Belfanos? We'll go Belfanos. I'll spend all our, all our defense on this one. Cool. Two hits? Yep. Two wounds. Minus, Minus one. one but th three offset. ups. Oh, Fails one though. One. D3 was it? Just one. Five up ward. Fails. Takes one. It bleeds. I can kill it. It's just a tear from how pitiful <laughs> your attack was. A resin tear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be sap, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so I think that is everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's everything. So we're going to charging. Okay. I'm going to do my general first. General? Yes, go for it. Nine. Nine. In. Kraken. He's going to do his... What? That's just a Kraken. Oh. 
I just finished putting you like said to me, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> something's happening. <laughs> I'm being attacked. <laughs> well, you'll get uh, monstrous rampage in the second yeah, yeah. about it. So I'm gonna do me my deep my horns, so on a charge of picking up within one on a two up and take D3 more wins. Yeah, who are you putting on? How many wins they got each? Two. Two each. Yeah. I'll do it in the Belfanos. Belfanos? How yeah. many wins has he got actually? Like fourteen, maybe sixteen. I feel like I'm overkilling. Uh, I'll do it on Belfanos. Yeah. Four. Yeah. One. Oh, goddammit. If that was the other way around, folks. Ah, uh, past the ward, though. Uh, shark. The shark. Nine. Good. Struggling to get into Belfanos, maybe around that, though. Yeah. You go to my guys and they probably guess. pile in. Yeah, if he piles in, then yeah. I could pile in. That's if I need the shark. <sighs> yeah, I'm quite confident with what I shouldn't be as confident because uh, he's fluffed a few times, my general. And he's probably going to get stomped in the face, but I feel like I'll survive that because I've got seven wins. So even okay. if you D6, I'll be alive. No, no, I don't think it's stomped is what I'm going for anyways. Uh... I don't think I'm going to charge last shark. Well, he's 12 away, so yeah, he's not uh, here. It's a new. Uh, so yeah, that's everything. So my leader's going to do... So is, this, is your leader a monster? No. Uh, so do you want me to do my monstrous actions? Uh, this goes off first. Or is it your, you, got, you got another ability. So after I make a charge move, uh, once per turn, I can basically choose to him and D3 units go to high tide. Oh, to give him strike first? To give him strike first. Yeah, okay. Which so I think I will, because I'm merely going to do it just so his uh, extra d damage comes off on his weapon because okay. it gets stronger in high tide. Right. And I'm going balls deep at the minute, so yeah, so one that works. Just to himself? So just to himself. Right, uh, and then now monstrous. Yep. Raw on him. Yep. Which doesn't go off, so you're, doing, you're sitting pretty now. That's good. Uh, so, yeah, I'll start with me. So you strike to, first, it has to be goes him. in. Yeah, uh, as he has to. Actually, I'm touching both of them. I can't move away, can I? It's who you were closest to. So, uh, to be honest, I'd say you could probably say Bell, you're closer to Bell for us. Is that definitely how it works? Yeah, yeah it's you pick the one that you pick the one yeah. that you're closest to. Okay, cool. And then if you're equal distance, you can pick yourself. So if you're in base to base contact, you can pick one and then go away oh, from the other. Cool. I've always run it as if you get locked in, you just get locked in. No, it's like anymore. if you've got a unit of ten models, yeah. and then one on one end is next to another unit, one on the other end, you can't then. Cool. You, you kind of get sprayed when you can't do it, yeah. <laughs> so, right, we're going to attack there. I'm Are you all out defence, naturally. I don't even know if it's worth out all attacking, because all the riders get plus one to hit when within nine of him, so he'll be himself. Okay. So it'll be just the mounts missing out as a plus one to hit. Up to you. So I think I'll save it because it's your turn next. Yeah. So because I'm in three inches of two units... I mm -hmm. get plus four attacks to me weapon. Okay. Uh, it's my two combat, uh, me two swords basically. Right. Um, so that's you know me command to it. Mm -hmm. You're probably familiar, anyways. So seven attacks on the pole arm. Yep. So this is when three three damage at the minute. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Hopefully, twos and twos. Twos and twos? Yeah, so quite a lot of damage coming in. No, here. no minuses to anything t to me. Like hit no. Nope. Cool. And I'm just going to throw full into him. Yep. One missed. One drops helpful. It is helpful. Uh, two drops. So five saves at minus three. Five saves minus three, turns into minus two, puts me on five ups. Passing one. You said three damage each? Yep. So that's going to be 12, 12. damage. Four, seven, I added one more blue dice, which is the primal it. Five upwards. Yep. Oh my god, that went really well. So, let's pull out the successes. Okay, take it back, he's definitely going to survive. <laughs> Four damage into Belfinos, puts him to five. Yep. The, uh, the falcon sword, uh, twos and threes. All hit. Two saves, normal. Two ups. Pass them both. Uh, the talons. Threes, uh, threes and threes this. Nope. 
Nope. And then the tail. Oh, threes and threes again. One. One save, normal. Two up because of the all-out defense. Yep. Cool. Now Damn. that was your strike first. Yeah. So, so you'll actually have to be next. One. So I may as well just go fully into you as well. Okay. So I'll pile around, so I'm still touching that unit. Mm-hmm. And I'll attack him. Everything to Belfast, so yep. he's still so on all-out defense. I smell blood, so one extra attack. Yes. Uh, threes and threes. That's good roll. Very good roll. Four saves and minus two. Minus two. So minus one, four ups. Uh, three two passed. damage. Two damage. Five at wards. Pass one, fail one. Puts him on to six. Uh, and then the guy in the back. Yeah. I think seven may bracket him. Two so you do and want one in. Twos and threes because of uh, my general? Yep. That's four saves. No range? Minus one. Minus one. Three up. Uh, one fails. One damage. One damage. Five up ward. Passes. Nice. Did really well in the five up wards there. It's uh, de really deceptive well. at times, to be honest. Yeah. So, that's you all done on combat, which yep. means it's me. So what I'll do is I am going to pile in these guys. I'm going to take them off the base, but yeah, we know where fine, they are, just because at this point I want more of them in. And I'm happy to leave cover now to get them in. Uh, so I can probably do him there. Him there. Well, don't think I'll get them all in, but I'll get like all but one. Because I'm sure they're only one inch reach. Yep. So that is all of them attacks going into there. I don't... Uh, actually, do I have command points to spend? I'll spend an all-out attack on these, but with martial memory, sorry, which is their, their, their own. Right, okay. So, like, I don't have to spend a command point on it, basically. Yeah, yeah. It means I won't get to do a free one with them in the next uh, turn, but that's yep. fine. So, in, uh, Enchanted Blades, I'm going to get six attacks with the Enchanted Blades into you. Cool. Tree Revenants normally don't fight, so I am going to actually double-check what their profile is. Because uh, they, they have a little sting, but they're not great. So these are freeze and freeze cool. with the all-out attack. So one miss. Freeze again. All in the shark, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Three of them at minus one. So uh, I'm thinking, I know my general, yeah. Uh, five ups. One save. Uh, one damage each. So and then the protect a glaive, freeze and freeze. Ooh. Unfortunate, because the Protector Glaive is actually quite a good attack. One of them at minus one. Five up, uh, five up yeah. Two damage. Five. How many wounds has he got left? Three. Three. How many wounds has he got? Seven. Seven. Have you bracketed Belfinos, because I need to decide how I'm going to split these attacks, if I'm going to split. Uh... Have you bracketed him? You have? No, you haven't because I'm on six, not seven. Lovely. So I reckon... We'll put... Two of the Protector Glaives yep. into the Shark. Okay. All the rest of them are in your General. I'm going to all out defense with General. Right. So I've, these are Ren, so Ren 3 and 2 is going in your General. Uh, so aware. my General's currently a 2 up. Well, 2 up when I've all out defense. Okay. So. so protect the the two Glaives going into the Shark. These will be 2s and 3s. Yep. Both hit. Uh, both in. They're Ren 3 damage for each. So I'm assuming the Shark just dies. Uh, yep. oh, no, does he have a save on Ren 3? Uh, he saves 4 up, so no. So no. And he doesn't have any pluses, no? No. Okay. Then the other two glaives go into the general. Oh, you minus one to hit here. Ugh. Into the general? Yeah. Just, I you should have been. Even in the shark, I hit, I, both of mine were three ups to hit. So I'm oh, fine right. for that. So right, I'm, yeah. So but I'm minus one to hit here. Yeah. So I'm still hitting you there. Yeah, both yeah. of them hit. I'm not minus the wound, am I? I, I always forget to right. no. Yeah. Three ups. That's one of them at Ren three on the general. One of them at Ren three. So yep. it'll be six, is it? Or five? So what's he pay save? Uh, three, but it goes to a two. So three, two, back to five. Yeah. Yeah, fine. fine. And then all of the, the uh, rears are like mandibles and chitinous legs. These are fours and threes. One miss. Oh, wait, hold on. Minus, Minus one, one to hit. Yeah. One hit. Nice. Threes. Caught, caught myself on that. Uh, one of them at minus two. So four. Five. 
Lovely. Right. So nothing happens to the general. He's fine. Um, battle shock. There's nothing to do. Cool. You've injured Belfnos. You've got what objectives do you have? One, two, two. So you've got one, two, and more, and more as a result. So oh, I've got that back one still. Yes, you do. Um, and then your battle tactic was intimidate, which you've you succeeded. Yep. So, so you get, get a full five, five and it would flip over to me. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So my battle tactic, I reckon, is going to be. Probably Harness the Spirit Pass, to be honest. I think that's probably the best one to go for right now. We'll do Harness the Spirit Pass. Cool. I've got that much overgrown in there. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be, should be easy to achieve. So that is that bit done. We are going to go with a... You're not Strike First anymore. Nope. Good. <laughs> Can't be asked with that. Um, Next turn. We're going to do a Command Point. Yep. On to Belthanos. Uh, I'll talk, uh, sorry, extra command point for flip of the turn. Yeah. And yeah. then command point of Belfinos, which doesn't land, so I'm on two. I'm going to find a star on my general. You're going to find a star on your general. Case. That's fine. From there, Belfinos is going to try and make this overgrown out of three. Yeah. Which he gets. So this is now overgrown right next to where general is. Nice. Uh, we got two spells back here. I might. You might be in range now. Well, your general's uh, in range. Is that in range? Yeah, that's in range if that was and, it. And uh, what about that one? Mm, no. No. Yep. No on that one, but yes so on the other two. So I've got two dispels, yep. but I can't get the revolt. So we need a uh, primals. Yep. Nope. Yes, yep. so two primals. Uh, we are going to... Uh, Spice Swarm Hive it. Yeah. No, she do I want Spice Swarm Hive? I don't even need Spice Swarm Hive. Oh, that's fighting time. I like really that. don't think I need it. Because you've, you've, everything's within range. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what, what am I trying to reach by getting that now? I could do it for the minus one rend. That's good, pretty good. But. Yeah, weird one. We'll do um, we'll do we'll do this. We'll do Virgil's Harmony, right? Um, and I roll, I auto cast that one, and I'll put it under the Spite Red Lance. So yep. on a one, I'll take D three mortals. Nope. I don't. The Spite Red Lance will come back. So that's a nice, that's an easy bit, easy win. Yeah. Right. Then the last spell is it's basically probably going to be Mystic Shield or it's going to be Spite Swarm. Um, it depends on how, if I want to proper stick into you or not. <laughs> I know what I need to do. I'm going to Mystic Shield it. Yeah. 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 Oh. oh I thought it was going to be another six. It would have been that great. Be um, it is automatically yeah. cast Calpy on Bound. Yeah. Mystic Shield is going to go on to the Kurnoffs. Cool. Okay, so I'll, um, again, I don't know how we have a Mystic Shield token actually. Mystic Shield on the Kurnoffs. Right. From there, is there any other hero phase stuff to do? No. So we're going to go into movement. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, so movement phase done. Uh, we used a way piper to get the yep. tree runners over to here to con control this objective. We used the faction teleport at the end of the turn to get the tree runners that were in combat with the general over to here. I don't think I wanted them to stay in the combat because mm -hmm. my Four processes, maybe Belfinor strike and fades first. Right. Undecided, we'll see. Um, we ran the cur we ran the curves up. No, I forget, we ran or moved them. You ran them. Ran them, but oh yeah, but we measured to make sure they were yeah. still within range for the, the run in charge, uh, which is off great. run, I did try to uh, redeploy my reavers, which is probably a mistake now because I'm older one. But yeah. uh, my idea was to, if I rolled a six, I could have jumped onto this point over here. And denied me some points. And denied you points. Yep. But then because I only rolled the one. Because you'd already rolled the one, you didn't have enough of a redeploy. Rolling. I've moved these guys in 17 across. I didn't run them. I've just flew them 17 across because um, they were within range of the Radchwitch yep. with the Warsinger. 
Um, and they get strike first on the charge. So I might get some good damage into these. I'll probably take some damage back. Yeah. But overall, that's still good. Kurnoff, so I juiced up with a Mystic Shield ready to take some damage too. And then we got Belthanos. And we move the Arch Revenant up into the middle here. So I'm giving plus one wound here and potentially plus one wound to the Kurnoffs, depending on how far I spread. There's no shooting because you kill my only shot. shot yeah. Shooty, shooty boy, tree lord. They got shot off there. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I possibly should have, but I figured if... At that point, if I did an all-out defense, I think you would have just switched to Belthanos earlier. And I was Probably. just like, I'm not going to... I didn't <laughs> want to give you that option. Uh, so, from there, we had two charges. Yeah. Um, I think we just lead with the Kurnos, because it's a three-inch charge for the Kurnos. Uh, on a five. Now, you get to do a Ren 3 monstrous action if I'm within three of you. Yeah. Is that right? So, if I land outside of three, which I think I've managed to check before and I should just be able to do... Because I only need to land with it one model within a half inch. And that three inch just covers your base there. So I should be able to land like here and basically not give you it, is my thought. So I'm going to go, say five over to here. Yep. This w They will land in, in range in a second. Yep. Um, you can go to like here. You can go to like there, say. So I should be out of three. If not, I yeah. can change. Yeah. That's We're in a half. Oh, I can change. Yeah, but right that's there. still where. That's still out of Yeah, I should be out. And then pull you back a bit. One, two, three, four. Eh, uh, one, two, three, four. We have five to play with, but I think we're going to spread thin, but still be out of three is the idea then I'll pile in and hit you. So I want to be free away from me. I don't want to give you turtle the monstrous rampage, basically. So I will move. Not very nice. No, I'm, um, I'm quite quite a harsh player at times. Right. So that's me curling off all in. Yep. Over here, we're going to do the spite rider lancers. Cool, yo. On a nine. They're in. They are definitely in. So... What we'll do, this boy, who doesn't want to stay on his base again. God damn it, James. Struggling Worship. with it. Put him there. You know what, it's a nine. Why am I just not using this? Right. That nine will get me in between here. Yeah, I'm not going to overwatch. Good. I've only got one command point left, so I need it for combat. We'll put him there temporarily. I'm going to see if I can keep coherency by doing this first. Probably should. I probably... Can I? Yeah, I can. We'll You've got a six in pilot anyways. Yeah, but I still have to end the charge in coherency, I believe, is the rule. So even though I could regain it... No, but I mean you could like... Well, I, I think I don't think you're allowed to... Needs. You're not allowed to set up a unit out of coherency and this would be technically still set up. So, like, if you kill my guys and leave me out of coherency, I'm allowed to redo it. But if I deliberately move and leave a unit out of coherency, that's not allowed. So, they'll come in with the awkward, awkward cool. wings. Right, that's them done. Uh, do I want any more charges with this? Probably not. Because I'm going to pull him back when I activate, I reckon. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. That's all the charges done. Ooh, so okay. we do a couple of activations. Yep. Is my combat boring you, Dan? No, sorry. <laughs> right, so strike first happens on the Spike Red Lancers. Yep. Okay. Um, we are going to, we get the pylon six, but it has to be to the closest model. So what we'll do is we'll bring you in here. We'll bring you in to here and you in as well. So I've basically got options of how I do the hits. Pick, yeah. And then you here, you here, you here. Cool. And that's everyone in coherency. So one, two, three are going into the reavers, and three will go into the shock. Oh, you're doing that first. Sweet. You are, they strike first, so I have to. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So do you, you, you've only got one command point. I'm yeah, yeah. you're probably I'm saving it from here. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So, they are dead to me. <laughs> so very harsh. You're a harsh general. Um, right. I think the shark gets plus one save for the turtle. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll do the Reavers first. We've got the leader over into the Reavers as well. So I'm going to okay. be basically 13 Lancer attacks. I didn't do all my Lancer attacks when I went into them before because I did, I've only got 12 blue dice and I never oh. roll extras, I've just realised. Oh. So I was, thought it wasn't a yeah, it, I, 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 I was only maybe like two or three attacks less, I think, than it should have been, but right. meh, it doesn't matter. I probably like counted out the mandibles and then I just <laughs> did the other attacks. So we've got, uh, we'll do the mandibles first, right? right? We've got nine of those. I'll never do them this time. And we're gonna, I'll do the, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'll do the mandibles and do it properly. So nine mandibles into the Reavers, these are fours and yep. threes. Yeah, and then threes. Uh, so that's three minus one. Uh, so there'll be six ups. Yep. Goes there. So uh, one damage each on those, and then the lancers will do. And I need to roll one extra attack in this one. In fact, no, we'll just roll the red dice. So the the lancers are going to be threes and threes. Oh, that's a one. And then freeze again. Uh, two, four, five, six at Ren two. Uh, it goes through. That's just one damage again. So six damage in. One guy left. Or oh, one last. And that's all of the attacks into the uh, the Reavers. And then we'll do the attacks going into the Shark. Six, nine. So we'll do the Mandibles again. Oh, Fours no. and threes. Yep. You okay? Yeah, I just threw a Reaver off the table. Uh. Into the void. Oh, you're, dis all right. you're disappointed with how this survived. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four at minus one on the shock. Uh, so it'll be f just normal save because of the turtle. Yep. Four. Oh, hey. Lovely. He's and then the right. lancers are going to come into this one. And the lancers are threes and threes. The Lancers are in two, so that's two, four, six, eight of those at Ren two, so you're minus one overall. Fourth. Nah, that's terrible. <laughs> well, no, look at the average. I don't think he's dead. Depends. Your, so your spitters go on forever. <laughs> two hours later. <laughs> Beyblade champion. <laughs> oh, oh right. God damn it. So, so that's six. Six damage. There's two wounds left. So two wounds left because that isn't the shark that was hurt from the objectives before. So he's otherwise okay. And that was my strike first. So I now have to do my natural activation. Yep. Okay. Where are you going there? So I'm going to do Belfinos. I'm going to all out defense. Yeah, that makes that. sense. I think I all out attack with this one. Cool. And try to get in as much as possible. Because yep. then it basically, my mandibles go up to three ups. Yeah, you do want to It would there. probably be better spent over here. But I've got another command I can do over there, so it's fine. Okay. So, um, everything into him. We will... There's, oh, sorry, monstrous actions. I never did it. Oh, yeah. So, um, I stomp you on a two. Okay. Three, four, three more wounds. Ouch. And then... I figured the mortal wounds were more important than denying yeah. your save, to be honest. Yeah, so... Uh, right. The So, I'm all out attacked. I've already lowered that down. And I'm going to be... Twos and twos because of the Arch Revenant's nice. aura. So twos and twos. Oh my god. This happened at the tournament. <laughs> I win three of them in a row. Oh, that's Twos. Cool. So just oh. one at Ren 3. God. It happens, man. It happens. <laughs> that happened. Yeah, it happens. Uh, Ren 3. So I'm currently. You're fine. It's now um, plus all out defense. A one up. So it'll go to uh, fours. If you're free, base, it goes to fours, yeah. That's going to be a one. That's bad. Yeah. So it's three damage. Uh, he's on one wound. And then the mandibles are going to come in, and these are threes and twos. Yep. One of them misses. These are only rent two, though. Yeah. And only two of them to make as well. So two saves, rent two, which puts you on three. three ups. Oh, make the second one, you're good. No! No, so that, yeah. would, be, that would be four damage. You and need to I am going to strike and fade with that one. Yep. Oh, wait, no. I can't, no, I'd feel me battle tactic if I do. I have to have charged with the unit that I strike and fade with. Oh, right, yeah. So he's going to stay. Well, he's out of combat anyway. You could still strike and fade. I know, but you don't need to. Like, yeah, but it. it's more that like he's now potentially in a precarious position if I, you get the turn on me. Yeah. But that's it. I stay there because then what I'm probably going to do is I might strike and fade with the Kurnos. Well, the turtle is in combat. Yeah. Um, so I think 
we just do... I've probably done this in a bit of a backwards way, because the one unit I was definitely going to send in and keep in, which is the Kurnoffs, are the ones I'm now probably going to have to strike and fade for the I'm battle I'm going to do the shark first. Okay. So your sharks, um, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not all out defense in here. I think I'm just going to tank some damage off you and get, okay. give some back to you. Threes and threes? Yeah. This is a shark first. Yep. Oh, my God. Nope. Next. The spears. Threes and threes again. Three saves at minus one. Three at minus one puts me on uh, my base save because of the Mystic Shield. Passing the ball. Uh, yep, that's me. Okay. So from there, I've got, now I have to choose. I can probably kill that shark. I can probably kill. I think I'm going to go for some unit clearance here and I'm going to pile yep. away. I'll lose my wound buff doing so, but I think it's just, it's just too worth it. So I have to stay close to him. The question is, is can I stay close to him? Ooh, no, I can't even reach him actually. So what we'll do is... Temptation. Yes, I probably might do it actually. So we'll move you there. Yep. Move you in there. You can come in here. You can come in here. No matter what, I probably lose that buff. I would have to get really far away from the shark. Yeah, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. So pile in to there. If I pile in here, where's that line for the twelve? It's there. No, I can't. Right. I tell you what. We'll not bother. We're going to give up on the two, the wound buff because I've slightly repositioned poorly. I'll get two curdoffs into your shark. Yep. Two curdoffs into the thralls. And I reckon. I'll do one kill off in each of these. Yeah, and I'm okay. just going to spread some good damage on you, see what I get. But I do get... Do I get command? No, I don't get the command that I want. Because he'd have to be within 12 to issue it. Um, right, okay. and I don't have that. So that kind of sucks. Never mind. Um, right, it's just going to be base hits. I'm going to be... You've got no command points left, have you? No. Nope. Right, we'll do the leader who's going to go into the shark there. Yep. He has five attacks. Um, and he's going to be... Threes and threes here. Cool. Okay. So no mortals. Only two at round one. Uh, so four. Yep. Because of the turtle. That's. Yep. So it's four damage total. I really tempted to fuck all me battle tactic here. Actually, we'll see. The other guy into the big turtle. Yep. Threes and threes. Uh, two balls. Is it a turtle, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And one save at round one. Oh my god. Uh, so ignores round one, so yep. it's a two up, so you're fine. Yep, yeah. then the two guys that are going into the thralls. Yep. Um, Ooh, four mortals. Nice. Do I? Oh, you've got wards, haven't you? So six. No, I don't. You don't? Well, the thralls. Yeah. I've got to be near the ship. All right, okay. So, so that's them dead. Uh, Hold on. I think the magnet. Right, just tip. lift them both up. There <laughs> you go. Right, he's done. And then the eight attacks going from Leva 2 into the Lava Shark. Yep. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Not bad. No mortals, though. And I was kind of relying on mortals. So that is four saves, round one. Corpse. Two damage each. Four damage. Five. Now I've got a question. Got a question for you. I could stay in, but then I'm going to take a pounding off you. Yep. And then it's a case of do I lose? You I give lose a battle, battle tactic. tactic. I could potentially do some mortals to you afterwards, but I might just play back and see if I get lucky with a double turn. I think that's how I have to do it. So I'll, yep. I'll st I basically want to keep battle tactic, and that's the thing. Like. It's not worth to give up the battle tactic now for everything that I would probably lose. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. strike and fade to get the battle tactic. And I reckon... Mm, 
I don't think I can keep them all on cover. Unfortunately. Right, so striking fail will happen from that, this uh, bit here over to this bit here. Yep. And I think I'm basically going to... I'm going to open them up, actually. And it's not ideal, but I just think this is probably the way to do it. Yep. My tax then? You can start rolling there. Actually, I might move them up to here, to be fair. My one archer. Threes and threes. I'll wait until you're done. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. The plan is pretty simple. Protect that last. It, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I've, still got, I've still got good utility on them. Right, so archer, who's... Archer. Threes and threes. Archer. Threes and threes. Her job is to wound one. And the shark will smell it. <laughs> you need to get the kill. No ward. No rend? No rend. It's past. Fine. Four up save. Okay, so none of them are wounded. So the shark? Yeah, you need to kill the one here, otherwise it'll heal fully. All right. All hit? Yep. Two wounds at minus two. Sixes. Pass one, fail one. Two damage. Two damage? Is there any of us? Uh, yeah. Roll the rest, and then we'll see if one dies first. Oh my god. Three hits. Oh. Two saves and minus one. They'll have to be moved because I've done at least something illegal, but I'll come do it in a second. Okay. Uh, two at minus one. Uh, fail one off. damage each. One damage each. So they'll, he'll survive and they would heal okay, back yeah. to full. Um, I've got to be nine away from you, and I've totally just like blacked oh, yeah, that out yeah. my head. So we'll just basically. Shocking. Yeah, I know. I think I was trying to do too many. Leaps in me head. Uh, Gonna watch the sneaky tree people. Look, right. There's. It's a very. It's a very mechanically complex army. <laughs> okay. That. That's just. That's just how it is. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you there? I think. Oh god. I hope I get this turn. I'm in a bit of a backlog here. You. You want the turn. I want the turn. Quite simply. Um. Right. That's all your combat's done. I didn't bother. I've not bothered added wounds on there. Battle oh, shock sure. would happen, and you don't have a command point. I think, yeah. She, so I'm assuming it's a round, yeah. yeah? There's your guy. It's a girl. There's a girl. Shocking. Well, I mean, guy to me is a gender neutral term, but it's like, hey, you guys, there was some girls in the gang of the Goonies. Just to, just to think about that. <laughs> Sloth was saying, hey, you guys, and there was some girls in that group, so. Okay. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, that's that's it scoring wise yep. I'll score one I'll score two yes and I'm now more so yep. I'm under five yes now something else needs to work you're still on is Dan ahead of me by one yes so I now still have the choice to blow up objectives you do it now or before I after you think roll we the, roll uh, off after the right so we roll first and then I'll blow up stuff so let's see Two. I'll take it. You want it, of course. Um, Why are you blowing up? Honestly, none of them. Cool. I think I'll leave it as it is. Um, and then you can have your turn. Right. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Uh, oh, I only get one command point because my general's dead. Oh, yes. Forgot about that. Yes. So you can think your battle tactic. Um... I'm gonna tactic, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a Heisel, maybe. To yeah. kill Belthanos. I feel it. How many wounds has he got left? Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna do a Heisel, fuck it. Well, Let's on the off it. chance, I'm gonna find his Darum. So, um, I mean, it, I was gonna Heroic Heal, but then I thought you wanted to summit the plus one to save, it'll probably save me more in the long run than the Heroic Heal would. So, finest hour, you can carry on. <laughs> Right, I'm going to roll for command point on my aspect of C. Yeah. Which I get. Because uh, I'm going second, um, I'm going to take the extra command point. Okay. Um, then uh, we roll for Poil. 
Yeah. Yes. No. no. So we got so one each. each. Okay. Right. We are going to. We have pulleys. You know what? I definitely have a finest hour token. But now I'm thinking, has the dog also got to the yes? Right. right. So we'll <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll put a we'll just put a little thing here. That's finest hour now. Okay. <laughs> Belfinos may die. I really want to do me minus. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I really want to do me minus one uh, damage one to him, but I just don't think I can get it off. What's his save? Three at base. So he's on a two up. Yes. Uh, right, we'll do. Remembering you, you is... can't stack that air tsunami of terror. I know, I'm out of range for it anyway. Ah, okay, right. Um, for now. I could teleport in and try to cast it, but mm. I want to do something else. Okay. So that's fine. So what, do you, uh, what are you opening with? We're going to start with Cloying Sea Mist. Which does what? 12 inches range, heals or wounds. D3. Okay. okay. So he's going to heal. D3 yep. to a unit within 12. Cast on an 11. Yeah, I'm going to leave shot. that one. He's going to pick the turtle, which is just within 12. Okay. Yep. It's got to be holy within 12 or within 12? Uh, that's a good point. Most of the healing ones are usually holy within, but not all of them. Within. Just within? Just within. You're good then. Two. Two. So he's back to three. Yep. And then uh, I'm going to cast Geminids. I wish yeah. I cast that with the first one, to yeah. be honest. Well, in that high, kind of crushed my spirit a bit. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh! Who, was that? Who, did you cast who did he cast it with? Who did he cast it with? Him. If he's got to reroll, he can reroll it. He's rerolling it. <laughs> oh! you, can't, you can't add primals, but you can avoid the miscast. Well, there's not a miscast again. Yes. No, I'm assuming it doesn't cast, go off on a four, uh, though. I think it's a six. Yeah, so you can't add primals, so you're just done can't there. get it off. What is next? Uh, well, you I get the glade worm treatment I had at me last game, where I was just survive. like, every round, not getting off. The only way I could kill him, really, is getting Geminids on him. Okay. God damn it. Uh, I'll Horfrost. Is this your last spell? Yeah. Okay. Seven? You can add primal on that. Eight. Eight. Uh, if it's the last one, I'll roll it. Who was casting it back there? Yeah. I'm within range of that. Eight. Final? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that was terrible. We'll go into movement and we'll be back in a jiffy. Hello, we're back after some movement. Uh, so we swam up here and uh, Jordan did a little uh, two, two inch, inch redeploy. redeploy with Belfinos. I'm so disappointed I didn't get you having it, but here we are. So we managed to swim some sharks up in this aspect of the sea, so I'll probably get some charges on them. We'll just see how much. Um, also, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't move out of that combat because I'm um, winter, winter leaf. you are trapped. Yep. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We are just on kill mission, so we're going to shooting. Uh, and the turtle's going to shoot Belfinos. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> all out defense with Belfinos. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, make uh, you, you sense. We all tech. saw the comments. you got a battle tech again. this. I have yeah, no yeah. reason not to pump all, everything into So you'll be tonight. on plus one here. Plus one plus the finest hour sample. No, I mean like plus one after the red. Because I'm only red one. Yes. yes. So I'm two ups. Yeah. There's a chance. Well, there's the thing. Like, <laughs> weight of dice alone, there's a good chance that I'll maybe fill one or two of them and then you, you're sitting pretty to kill us. That's all right. Five. Five? There's a chance you could fail a five. Yeah, I can definitely fail one or two there. Uh, no. But I didn't fail any that time, so that is all of them passed. I'll do the two sharks at the same time if you're okay with that. Yeah, go for it. Come on, sharks. Oh. Three only. Only three? Pass the ball. Yep. Uh, last shark over there into combat. Into the, yep. All hit. Oh, they're doing pretty well. Because he's freaking out. All the wound. Uh, red one. Yeah. Five ups. Pass two, fail two. Damage. Three. Three. Right. Uh, the wound's on. And then aspect to C. I forgot about him. D3 attack. He's got two. Threes and threes. One save at minus two. Into him. Yep. Uh, three ups. 
Fails. Two damage. Five ups. Fail them both. Puts me on the ears. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, charging. I believe. Who you got first? Order's probably quite Question, important here. Yeah. Maybe think, think about base sizes as well. I'll do turtle because I reckon he'll fit in there. Turtle. Oh, tw turtles. Turtles. He goes where he wants. Turtles fine. Come on over. Come on down. Question is. Yeah. The hope was like that the turtle maybe fluffs and then the other two I can I think I could survive, but the turtle probably to be honest, the turtle probably enough is enough to kill me. It's yeah, I, you're gonna get I kinda wanna warn you, but I'm probably gonna have to go the minus three because it's too good. Uh, I'm liking these dice. The turtle the shark's gonna charge. Six. Yeah. Okay. Actually I've got an interesting choice here as well. The turtle can be ran three at best. Yeah. I could make, so I could have myself on a four up save against the turtle. I could roar or. I right. expect to see charge. Yeah, go for it. I could, I could stomp the shark. Five, six, seven. He's in. You could actually kill the shark. By yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This shark. It's going to kind of pipe dream in there. Yeah, go for it. Six. He's not going to charge. Not going to charge? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Right. So, oh, yeah. uh, monstrous actions, and you have to go first. Uh, I'm going to do crushing fins. Just crushing fins, crushing yeah? Crushing assault. So, you're, it's like round three attacks for... On jaws and fins. And what's the damage on all of those? Uh, so, damage four on the fins, damage three on the jaws. Uh, you're a monster. Yes. If I roll a six to hit on the two jaw attacks, it does six more than one. Kraken, so that's probably what kills me. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I've only ever, for the many games I've played, I've maybe rolled a six once. But What's the turtle there is hit a on? chance. What's the turtle hit on? Uh, so, currently, jaws hit on a two and a two, and the fins hit on a two. Oh, so there's no, everything hits on a two anyways. Uh, the guys in the back hit on a three. Right, well, I'm just going to um, stomp into your... Uh, you shark. Okay. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, well, that was easy. Right, fair. Okay. So I'm um, like so first across the board. You are? You are? So I'm going to go first. I'm uh, naturally going to all out defense. All out defense in Belfinos. Uh, do I have a command point? I do. I don't think I all attacked here because the fins are twos and twos. Right, go for it. Yeah. So uh, the jaws first. I basically just want to... Six probably does be in. Six? No. no. But it hits. God damn it. Yeah. But it does hit. <laughs> one, one hit. hit. Yeah, one hit. One wound at minus three. So, four ups. Uh, fails it. Three damage. Three damage. Five up wards. Ooh, fails them all. Okay, this is where the swing hits. He's not got many wounds there. Three wounds Fins. left. Fins. Th twos and threes. All hit. There was the six. Mm. <laughs> A bit late. Oh, damn it. Two saves at minus three. Fours. Pass one, fail one. Four damage. Four damage? This could be the bit that kills him. Uh, yes, because yeah. even if I pass that three more, takes him up to 14, he's dead. Yeah. So Balfinos is out. To double check something. So. I've been smart. <laughs> he's done. Cool. Uh, and then you will well, activate got, with all the rest of them. Well, you got the shark over there. Well, you can still pile in with them. Yeah, so... It has to be close to the next closest unit, but you can pile in. So it Unfortunately, I didn't get the stomp. I was kind of hoping to fin mm. numbers a bit earlier. He'll just pile in a bit like that, so he's off the objective. In case you blow it up. Yeah, yeah. And he'll just go like that. Right, next activation. That's sure. Like over there. Because you it's are quite wounded, hard. Aren't you? What? You're wounded off the shooting. Yes. I smell blood. Threes and threes. Uh, three saves at minus two. Sixes. Uh, pass one, fail two. Two damage each. Two damage, four in. So that'll take me to kill him. And then two wounds onto the next one, which will put it onto the banner. And yeah. then the fins. Uh, there's the guys in the back. Yep. Threes and threes. 
Four saves at minus one. Fives. Uh, pass one, fail three. One damage each? Yeah, well, yeah. And I guess, yeah, so... Him. Oh, not bad. And then your strike's back. Cool. So a pile in six. And let's do it. So... Oh, Max, you've done something very bad. Oh, so? Oh, I'm not going to tell you. It's fine. You'll probably see. What are these? Well, not that one, but yeah. The, the wizard, yeah, basically. Yeah. So, uh, right, Lan says, I have a command point to spend, but I'm not yeah. going to, because you've only got two runes left on him. So we'll do the mandibles first. Six, seven, eight, nine mandibles in. Yeah. Um, fours and threes here. You could have... Do you have any command points left or not? Uh, I've got one. Um, do you want to use it? No, because your turn next, isn't it? Yes, it is. Just offering it in case. Uh, right, that is five at Ren 1. And your turtle's no longer there, so you are just Ren 1, I think. Five off. Three go through. Uh, one damage each, and he's already taken six, so he's dead. Uh, yep. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. There's your shark. There's your dice. Right. That is? Yep. Uh, no battle shock. Oh, battle shock two is to be taken. Uh, you killed two. Can they run? They could. We'll spend it. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm happy enough to spend that. So that's that done. Yep. Uh, we will do scoring. So you're going to control one. One, two. Two, but uh, not and, more. And then I've got my battle tactics, so, so you'll get to four. 14. So I think I'm nine to 14, is that right? Yep. So it's going to flip over to my turn now. Yep. Uh, I... I'm still strike first. Yeah, it's a point. It's a very good point. Surround or destroy is going to be the battle tactic. And I'm going to pick... The Tree Revenants, the Tree Revenants, uh, the Branch Witch. Cool. Okay. From there, I will generate a command point for my general being alive, but you don't. Yep. You only have one command point presently, is that right? Yeah, one. Yep. And from that, Mystic Shield will vanish. And what do we want to do? What do we want to do? So, I think we're going to... Command point on the Arch Revenant. Yep. Oh. Which I don't get. I'm going to command point on Aspect to C. Yep, two up. Doesn't oh. get it. Oh, my God. From there, now I have only one command point left. It's how do I want to use this, but I don't think I'm going to engage with the turtle. So I think... Oh, why not? I Come think, on. I think I'm going to play for a, a, <laughs> a, long, a long double turn here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my only command point. Yep. On a rally on the spider red lancers. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And it looks like not. Oh, I get one. I get one. You get one. So I get a la one nice. of them back, and we'll bring back another musician. And that musician's gonna go. Yeah. Cool. So I got no command points. And I've got one. you've got one. Uh, spells. Oh, primals. Nope. Did we have one from previous? Yes. No, I used mine. I think you used yours. Didn't yeah, you? I did. So it's one each. That's fine. Right. From there, I only have one spell to do. How do I want to do it? There's no point in doing that. I reckon. It's have a Spite Swarm or it's Mystic Shield, but if I was to do a Mystic Shield, I can't get the Kern offs because I'm too far gone there. So I think... <laughs> Actually, I could just Arcane Bolt and just um, yeet it straight away, which is very tempting. But... No, I'll, I'll try to uh, put the Spite Swarm Hive onto the board so yep. I've got it in place. Um, and that'll be the only cast. On a four, I'm not going to do anything with it. 
Cool. Um, I'll leave Tasty it as it is. Tasty gets final. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. I don't have any re-rolls, and I don't yep. need. I didn't need it. I was just curious to see if I would maybe land it. So from that, that's all the hero phase stuff. We'll pop the movement phase and be back in a moment. Okay, so did a little bit of moving, a little bit of shuffling. We used the tree revenant teleports to yep. get one onto the edge here. We'd end up using the faction teleport to get the branch switch over to here. Um, bouncing off from this building. Uh, so I've got basically this board edge and this board edge. And then, now right next to Dan, we've used the third, uh, the Dovah Tree Revenant Teleport, and that's basically Surround and Destroy accomplished. I don't have to worry yeah. about anything there, which is great. We walked up the Kurdoffs, just five, because they, I'd already sent everything el everywhere else, and yeah. I think they were out of range of the Branch Witch. The Spite Riders have moved in 14. Obviously, I've not got access to Rotor Charge anymore, so I'm a little bit slower. And then the Arch Revenant flew up here and Dan redeployed. Yeah, I used my one redeploy trying to get far. I think I've almost like a two or three. Maybe a three and you've tried to like basically yeah. walk away from the point. So I thought I'd get off the objective before it explodes on my face Yeah, because I could have potentially done if that If I there. don't get stabbed by a tree. Yeah. This shark's actually stopping me from walking through, which is a bit of a problem. Because I wanted to kind of split two and then maybe kill two sharks. Yeah. If I get a big enough charge, I'll do it. Because I can just have one finish here and then line them. But I'll need a decent charge roll. Um... But there's no shooting. Uh, yep. Your strike first, so I'm being careful with who I engage, which is why the turtle's yep. being left alone for now. And maybe in battle Makes round four, sense. I'll go for it. But otherwise, we just roll into charges. So yep. I think we start with the one that matters most to me, which is the Kurdoffs. Um, and it's three. just a three. They're in. So they are in, but it's very poor. I would be limiting myself to only getting one shark, which sucks, because I don't think I'd be able to reach that. But here's the thing, if I re-roll and then get the double one, which I have been, I have done before, it's greedy. Um, so I might elect to leave that. Because that, let, let, let's double check another, another roll first. I'm looking at like a four or five there. I'm looking at a four or five there. We're going to be greedy. Yep. We're going to be greedy. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I don't have a command point. No, right, yeah. I don't have a command point. Uh, so I, they, we're just taking the three as we are. Uh, there is nothing more to be done there. It's unfortunate that that's how it's happened. But, you know, like, it's it's just, uh, that's it. So these will probably be striking and fading here. I wasn't near the turtle, so we just leave that as it is. Yep. We're going to roll on the spider lancers on a seven, okay. which will get them to where they need to be. Lovely. Yep. So the lead can get in. I think definitely. she's dead. Yeah. Uh, seven over here. Fly, my boys. You get yeah. me back. I'm gonna slap one of them on my way out. So. Oh, there you go. And you. Oh. Don't even know if you can land there. I'm gonna see if the base fits. The base fits. Yeah, just leave I'm going to leave it at yeah. that. And then you can come in here. That's fine. The Archer Evidence is not going to move, I don't think. Um, no point in charging her in at all. So, there's no monster sections to be done. We just go into combat, but you get both strike first, so you can yep. hit me. Right. So, the last is going to hit you with the staff first, the wizard. Wizard going into the Spirit Red Lancers, yep. yes. Fours and threes. One hit. Okay. One wound at minus one. Past it. Oh, that. Uh, and then the shark, the fish thing's gonna bite you. Yes. <laughs> Threes and fours. Two hits. Oh. Oh, well, actually, there's something I need One to do, wound. but yeah, just what keep going. What do you need to do? I will strike first, and I've just remembered I should have went oh. before you. It's okay. Uh, that would land. Um, if if I, if I was the killer, oh, it's fine. We'll just carry on. So I've took a wound, yeah. They've took a wound if she survives. Yeah. If you're strike strike first. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm meant to be strike first, right, and I just do completely. Your attacks. The high tide just threw me off. Um, so I'll activate and basically pile in, and what we'll do. Is I always we'll... forget they get high, uh, strike first. Yeah, like it, I remember it every time until somebody else has strike first, and then I forget about that whole interaction. Might be a bit of an overcommitment what I'm doing here as well. It seems like a nightmare to unit six. Yeah, I really don't like having to deal with the bases, to be honest with you. One, two, three bases here. One, two bases into your leader. Yep. The, my uh, the leader of the squad, my champion's actually next to the shark. So okay. I'll do the shark one first. Uh, is... I 
think about. Yeah, don't yep. get the plus one. Nope, so fours and threes from the mandibles into the shot. Uh, three, you read one into the shock. It's took five. Uh, two go through. Two go through, and then I'll do the lancers. One damage apart. Yeah, just one damage apart. He's got one wound left. I got that. Right. Dice be going everywhere. Lancers, that's the leader. Plus another four. Right, lancers going in the shock. Threes and threes. Yep. A few ones. Oh, Quite a few, now. actually, yeah. Only four out of 13 on a three up. Uh, three of them, though, at rent two. Uh, six. Chalk uh, dead. Okay, chalk dead. And then I'll do the two guys. God, how do I get them out of there? Uh, With great difficulty. Yeah, you got to be good. Oh, God. You're good. You're good. That was more difficult than it had to be. Right. I might have left my curd offs in the open, though, because I'm not going to be able to strike and fade them. Uh, but it's fine. Right, so then I'll do the mandibles into the uh, leader. Fours and threes for yep. these. Uh, two at round one under the the, lead, the champion. So she's uh, four ups of five up. Well, she's dead. Yeah? Oh, no, she's got a ward. Got a ward. So one damage? ward. It's just one. And then I've got the lancers. Yes, she's dead. Dead. Okay, now if I'm going to strike and fade, it has to be now. <laughs> Because it has to be after a fort, and I can't realistically pile in three to fight one at all. So the Kurdos are going to be stranded, but the Spite Riders probably have to probably strike and fade. Yep. And set up for a few of a like a few of a bits of play. So I think strike from this, and I'll fade over to here. Yep. Um, actually, do I want to do that from there? No, actually, I'll tell you what. Mm, no, no, no. Ideas, ideas. So my, my thought process was going to be so I can strike from there, fade to there. It basically just means they don't actually have to move that much. But I'm probably going to bundle them over here. Okay. Bit into the open. Bit more back. Not you, though. You stay. I was tempted to fade them out for the Virgil's Harmony Resurrection across the board. Yeah. But then they'd be absolutely miles away from you. And I, I don't really want to do that. And we're about to go into turn four, and you've got a little bit less to work with. So I'm feeling... Yeah, I don't know much. I'm in a ball. Yeah. So the only thing I want to do is maybe I want to hit within three. So I get the look out to three minus one to hit. Right. That would be it. We would basically do battle shock, which would put us... Uh, I would have healed full with the, the spirit yeah. lancers, so we don't have to worry about those. I score one for that objective. I still have this objective. I still have, got these. have the objective, yeah. I've got all of them, so I'm going to get a full five. Yep. Which I think puts us 40 in a piece. So it actually means that either of us could potentially swallow an objective here. Okay, I think you cool. ended up rolling off and you get to swallow one if, you, if you're I'll drawing. I'll take that, yeah. So from there, we're going to... We're going to get ready to roll off? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. Oh, my God. It's a two. You definitely got a good shot. Six. Yeah. Do so you take, take that? Yeah, it makes sense. So who gets to... So explore? you want to check the book, but I think, basically, because we're on the same number of points, I think we roll off, and whoever gets it gets to pick one. Perhaps the Nexus. So... Uh, if both players are tied on victory points, then uh, the player rolls off and the winner can choose. To choose one, I think it one. is as well. Yeah. One. God damn it. Well, if it's not a one, I already, I've locked in what I'm doing. It's a two. Oh, actually, had I locked in what I was doing. I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was going to blow up that objective and potentially hurt my kernels. Oh, yeah. Because then it just makes you... It means if you want primaries, you're going to have to absolutely leg it across the board. And I'm still tempted to do that. Ooh, that is a tempting one. So he could go in there. He could definitely fully. He could lift them. That's not. That's not a question, really. 
um, it then becomes, I can do D3 models to myself potentially, but then I close an object off of you and it means your primary has become an absolute nightmare to get. So I'm actually going to close this objective and, potentially, and aim to hurt myself. Okay. So um, can you go under that orange dice and chuck that in? So on a four up D3 mortals to the curd offs, it yep. lands for three right. mortals. So it's the worst that could have happened, but it's I still think that is the right play for the remainder of the game. Yes, probably not bad. Maybe. So I'm going to go there, and that's my mortals tuck. Um, hmm. you, it's up to you. Just thinking about battle tactics now. Uh, so I could go lead into the maelstrom. I think that's all I can do out the base ones because. So, yeah, you would need a battle line and a leader, and you've got your turtle and your leader, but one of them would still have to be in combat at the end of the phase. Yeah, but I don't think I could kill all your colonels. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I reckon it's definitely, definitely doable. Uh, how much. Have you got anything left with more than eight wounds? Like a hero? No. No. Oh, eight wounds, exactly. No. no. So I can't do that one. A hero of I'm not in five, high tide. I think hero of five. No, nothing has more than six wounds. I could try. I could try to clear that ship from those two units, but that's probably not happening again. Uh, I'm spread pretty, pretty all right. I can't do that one because I've killed my wizard. Yeah, I can't do any of my own ones. See, I think Dan's approached my army correctly because he's gotten rid of the things that don't really generate regenerate too well. Yeah, but just it just so it. happens that by doing so, you've put yourself into a bit of a corner, which you're now going to have to bust yeah, out of. Yeah, I think... If I got some more spells off, I think I'd be better in a situation, but it's just not going well. I'm taking the extra command point, by the way, for going second. That's fine. I could do Sound and Destroy. Trying to destroy? Yeah, you'd have to pick three units to be on the board edges, and you have three <laughs> units left. So uh, it's, it's a possibility. You, well, you, it, yeah, you, so you'd have to teleport him, and these two would have to leg it and stay on the edges. And that's if you want that now. You could do Magical Mayhem, potentially, but I don't know if you know, even know if you've got anything in range that would be that you could kill outright. I'm going to do Surround and Destroy, because I feel like it's the last turn I can do it. And to be honest, I feel like... All the things I need to do, like killing you. If I just go and kill you now, I'll be jumping into no objectives and I'm just going to get knee points. Yeah. So I'm going to do lead into the maelstrom. Uh, uh, the maelstrom are surround no, and destroy. Surround and, just surround and destroy. Surround and destroy. Sorry. He's picking all Sorry, his, folks. He's picking I'm his free... I'm getting confused. Yeah, yeah. His three remaining units are going to have to <laughs> oh. do surround and destroy. Yeah, so I pick... Uh, uh, what shall we pick? Yeah, those things. So, yeah. <laughs> it was a tough decision. Had yeah, to be yeah. made. Um, heroic actions. Um, With that in mind, I'm going to heroic willpower on the Arch Revenant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and block your spell. Cool. I'm going to... Yeah, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fish for a command point, which I get. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have four command points. You tell you what, start of hero phase. I'm going to spend a command point on a rally on the spider Rider lancers. Oh well, <laughs> didums. Carry on. Okay. Uh, magic. Yeah. Uh, primal. Yes. No. So just I've got one. one. Um, oh, I've got one over there. Already. Right. What spells <laughs> do you wish to do, Dan? What spell do I do? I'm going to do clawing sea mist to try to heal something. Yeah. Six. Uh, I don't actually know what that's cast on. I feel as though six to seven is pretty good. I just oh, said a, a six or a, a six, maybe a seven. Won't be worse. But if it's cast just, on a six, yeah, you're going to do anything. Heal. I'm leaving it. Cool. Have uh, you, I'm going to heal the shark. Shark? Ah. Heals three. three. So he's on three. Yeah, the shark's sitting pretty. He's looking better. He's seen better days, but he's still doing good, right? I'm going to do the steeds of tide. Mm-hmm. Eight. Get a six and I can't stop it. And this is the teleport. Yeah, this is the oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> the opposite a, of what I did. It's a nine. Six. Uh, so, it's blocked. Yeah. Damn it. So that's your that's your battle tactic gone. I think. Not necessarily. Well it depends how far you can run, really. So You need three edges. Yeah, we're gonna go into movement and we'll be back shortly. Right, we're back. We so saw some shenanigans happen because I failed the, the casting. I'm probably not going to get my battle tactic, but I've realised by moving my shark up here, I've got 11-inch charge to get my battle tactic. 
I've yeah. got to survive. Yeah. So I'm glad I healed the shark and not the turtle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just moved up there and uh, the turtles took the trees for a moral victory. Just for the, me. <laughs> the other thing, although whether you were on a retcon this, is uh, if you were to feel the charge with your shark, would you then want to try and pile in and start killing stuff or not? Or would you just take the loss on this round and wait for the next one? I think I'll just go for the battle tactic because killing, yeah. like, one thing in fo folks at home is like, yeah, that like, unit's so damaging and I could charge and kill that, but literally I'll get zero points for doing that. Sure. And then next turn you'll get one, two, three, and then possibly a battle tactic, so then I instantly lose the game. Possibly. Because I can't catch up after that, because then I won't be near the objectives. I'll be stuck in combat with them because I can't retreat. Yeah. So there's no chance. There's just no way. Yeah. Blowing up that objective was me. quite important to my, yeah. my win contingency. So I've literally got to, I've just got to avoid him and try to kill them. Right. Then uh, uh, shooting. we've been done. Go for your shooting. So who do you want to shoot with? Oh, yeah. You Sharks shoot are going to shoot these bugs. Sharks into the revenants. Yeah. You're going to do that? No. You can do, you can do that. All hit. pretty good though. Hey, hey, he's feeling it. Uh, three wounds and minus one. Five ups. Uh, pass one, fail two. Uh, three damage. Three oh. damage. I'll just add the marker under that one. Uh, we'll put you on the back. Turtle's going to shoot uh, the Kurnos. Yeah, the Kurnos will all out defense, though. I've got command points to spend. Less good. Because you can't see out the tree. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, wait, yeah. Rules. Three saves. Yeah, three saves and minus one. Consequences. Uh, minus one, plus one, because they all have defense. I passed them all. Okay, cool. Uh, and then my aspect of C will do a little wand attack. Yeah, go for it. D3 attacks, one. Three, I missed. Oh, okay. Then we've got charging. Charging. So the big one. Shark needs an 11. You've got a command point to use yep. you because you generated one Generate for the start. One. It's your only command point currently. So you want you want this 11. Come on. No. You went in like, I could see euphoria <laughs> passing over your face there. You were, you were imagining the 11 landing. But yeah. now he's going to re-roll it. Going to yeah. re-roll it. I need to challenge in my like squid game where I was rolling nines all over the board. I mean, th this might just be the yin-yang. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's coming back to bite you I used you now. too much you luck that yeah. day. 11, come on! Oh, there's a three. Okay, so that's not happening. So, there's a, three. a three. Well done. Right, you've now got the choice of... Um, you're I'll not try to get, charge the tail. You want to charge the tail? That's what I was about to say, yeah. So if you feel... Ooh, that could be good. There's oh, the 11. that's good. God damn it. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> 11 gets you in, definitely, yeah. Yeah, just uh, move me in, would you? Do you want, like... Do you uh, want to just tag one? Like there? Can. Yeah. Because that, yeah, you have to be within the I know half. I can't there retreat, but if I can kill you off the. You can't retreat, but you can do a lot to us. Um, that's um, the only gonna charge. Cushion jaw. Does he want to try a charge? No. no? So you're going to put Cushion jaws for the, ren the three ren, three damage. Yep. I'm going to naturally all out defense when you attack me because you get to initiate first. Uh, yeah. Your turn next, isn't it? Yes, it will. Um, be. Do I. I don't know all out attack. I'll probably point. take a good chunk of damage here, but I think the unit survives. Hopefully not. You need to deal 27 damage. Let's go. I mean, I, 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 so you know what? It's possible. Crushing jaw, uh, the jaws? Yep. Did you spend any command points on anything here no. or not? Oh, oh you, I can't anyways. He's not a, yeah. a character. Right, carry on. Uh, two, one save at minus three. Uh, so in effect, minus two, five ups, passes. Then um, the fins, actually, can... Can totems issue commands? Totems can. Yeah. He's a totem. He oh, can. yeah, you're good then. So I mean, I'm not going to, because it's twos and twos yeah. anyways. Like, yeah. my tree lord can't. That's the only, that's uh, why I'm... And then I know that um, the Bastilladon can't, yeah. Two saves at minus three. Uh, minus three, minus two. Oh, my God. Five ups. Uh, fail them both. Four damage each. Four damage each. So that is two to kill him. And then uh, six more damage to go on, which means... We'll get rid of him, and then we'll put one on to him. And then the last, uh, the spears on the top, threes and threes. Yep. Two saves at minus one. Three ups. Fail them one both. One damage each. One damage each. Three. That's it. 
Right. Me to hit you back? Yep. Pile in three. Swamp them, boys. Even though you kind of really come from the swamp more than anything else. Uh, right, so that three will pile in to whip him there. I... Is there a way that I could have still maintained? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to just swamp him slightly differently. Just pull him back a little bit because I can get him within the aura. Yeah. I have a command point left, but I've already spent it all on defense. So I'm going to get four guys in, which is 17 attacks. Yep. Um, and we'll roll a little green dice for this one, I think. You only went one, aren't you? 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, we're in cool. one, but six is do two more. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be threes and twos here. So two, four, six wow. mortals. Good, you just add it on for me whenever you get a chance. Yeah, that's fine. I don't hit on twos here. And then we'll do these. Twos for these. That is two, four, six, seven. Seven saves minus one from your original two up. Uh, I ignore minus one when. Seven two ups? So yep. Seven two ups. One so less, two damage there plus the. So you take eight damage. So you'll go. You don't have a ward, do you? No. So you'll go to 11. Ouch. Yep. And then. The combat phase would end, yep. but you're still in combat with Kurnoffs. Yep. So on a four up, for each of these dice, you'll take a mortal wound onto the, sh the shark, the um, the turtle. And you'll take two mortal wounds in addition, on. which puts you to 13. How many wounds does this have? 16, three left. Okay. He's going to be shit now. Indeed. Wahaha. <laughs> right. So I get zero <laughs> points this turn. So you get zero points here. Yeah. No battle tactic. There was no objectives to be controlled because you yeah, would have had to have absolutely legged it on and cleared some units. I would flip to me. I think this is a game, like... We can we can talk it out if you would like. Um, oh, I can play this one turn and then we'll, see... We'll, what... we'll go through your turn. So you want to finish my done, turn four yeah, and then we'll, we'll go from there. That's fine. Because we've done even turns then. That's, that's no worries. So what we'll do is I think we'll go Intimidate the Invaders. Yep. Because I haven't had to do that just yet. Um, I could also lend the Maelstrom, but... No, actually, sorry, we'll not. We'll, uh, we'll eradicate, eradicate trespassers. I never used that. Oh, I haven't um, heard that one. I have you. It might not have been you. It might have been Tom or someone else. Uh, you're within six inches of my Wildwood. Oh, it's basically one of them ones. I'm going to kill, kill, yeah. kill, I'm gonna kill the trespassers. Ah, poor turtle. Yeah. So your poor turtle's going to die, hopefully. So I'll heal the yeah, one there. On a, wait, is he 13 heal damage taken? There. Yeah. Let's have a look. He is on a four save. He's say. seen I better should, days. I should, I, should be, I should be okay. I could feel it, but I should be okay. Right, that's that done. Um, and then we're going to do a couple of other little bits and bobs here. So I think we're going to do a command point onto the Arch Revenant, uh, which I don't get. Command point on Aspect of yeah. C, which I do get because there's a two up card. Yeah, I've generated one, but you don't generate one passively because yep. your general's dead. So is, your, is that your only one or have you got one more? Uh, that's it. That's, that's the, the only one you've got is the one that you've just rolled for. Right. So I've got two there. No, I've got one more. One Sorry. universal plus the yeah. three. That's Because I, I didn't use mine last turn. I used the universal. That's what I was uh, thinking. Not the universal, the free one. Yeah. So that's that done there. Primals. Yes. Yes. Two yes. primals. I've only got one spellcaster. Um, uh, Spice Swarm Hive. Yes. Just because it might as well put it on the board. Okay. Uh, it's done. Right. So that's it. Just to show you're too dominant over the ball. I just, I was, I was that, you know, I was going to plant a tree there just for the fun of it, but yeah. no, we'll do spite swarm because I might use it in battle round five if I need it. So, from there, that's done. We go to. Oh, actually, no, I have a command points there. Do I spend it on a rally again, <laughs> just for the fun? No, I'll not. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stay. Right, we're going to go to movement phase, guys. Be back in a more. Hello. Hi. Right. I should probably stop saying hi because, like, you know, for them, it's just been like that. Bouncing, it's done. Yeah, yeah. So what did we do? The tree revenants walked up onto that point just in the middle. Yeah. They teleported over here onto this point using the way piper. I used the faction teleport on the branch switch to put her on that objective. So I've got a unit on the center of all objectives. Yeah, yeah. Our well. thought process there is if it, you were to, say, get priority in battle round five, yeah. you wouldn't be able to teleport onto an objective. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm thinking for that. 
otherwise, curtain offs have stayed where they are. The arch revenants just moved, so I've still got that full 12 inch, um, you know, the plus one wound aura. Yeah. And then the spider red lancers have moved 14 in to probably sink in on the shark, maybe the aspect of the sea as well. I haven't really yep. decided how I want to do that yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out now because I'm about to roll charges. Yeah. So, spider red lancers. Oh, there's a one. Ah, seven. seven. Okay, seven, that's you. Where are the one? Where do you want them? Uh, can they get into the aspect of the sea or not? Yes. Go on. Charge him, he can't move. He can teleport out. He can teleport, but he can't run away. So just pull them in. I'm going to try and stick some um, damage in. And But most of them I want into the shark. I'm intending to just trap him there, but I keep. I want the damage on the shark. If one moon walks in... Oh yeah, you'll just you'll no, just no, uh, tail fence that. We've got two inch reach, so I'm no, not too no. worried about that. Right, bit. so four on the shark, one on the guy. Yes. Now I'm straight first, so I have to do that attack one yep, regardless. First. And what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna oh, all that attack feels overkill there. I'm gonna save stuff this over is there. Survive. Yeah. So you might you might you might survive yet. Right. I'll, so uh, all out defense the shark. For all the out game. defense the shark. <laughs> oh my okay, god, that's Actually, a proper economy. You've got a universal as well, so you could do an all-out defense oh, on him over here. If yeah, you want. no, I won't actually, because I forgot I've got a universal. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave it. So, uh, yeah, 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 you know what I mean. So, so um, we're going to do the one guy into here first. That's four yeah. lances. Oh, actually, that's the leader. So that's five lances, and then it's going to be threes and threes. Cool. These are yeah the lances. So, that is four saves at Ren two. On the shark? On to the aspect of the sea. Oh, uh, so he's three, so fives? Yep. One damage each. Oh my god. Five up ward? Yep. Oh, I've got a lot of ward. Yeah. It only takes one. Takes one. And uh, then the mandibles, fours and threes. Just the one landing. And it fails. And then I'm going to do all four of them into the shark. Yep. So we'll do the mandibles first because I've actually got 12 dice already. Sure, cool. Fours and threes. God, again? <laughs> three hits! Twelve dice! Uh, three of them at rend one. Uh, five ups, two go through. Two, that's just one damage each. So he's on five. Four, eight, twelve. I need another six dice. I'm just going to roll an extra four. Okay. Okay, so these are threes and threes for the lancers. Oh, that's fortunate, okay. So all of them hit. Put then four of these in. We need an extra four and worked out. Yeah. Oh, yep. oh, so I'm just nice. rolling 12 now. So 12 of these on three ups. Yep. Right, that is, these are Ren 2. Two, four, six, seven at Ren 2 under the shark. Uh, sixes? Four? Uh, four go through, he dies. Dies, right. Oh my god. You're good, careful of the fins. Sorry. No, you're good. My fins connected with yours. Yes. Oh, this is very scary. So that's to be straight first combat done. Yeah. We're going to come over here. Yes. I can do extra attack, so I can do all out attack. I will be all out defensive here. I think I might go extra attacks and just see if I can get the mortals on sixes. Yeah, that's probably makes what sense. Do. So I'm going to do call to battle. Because I'll ignore minus one rend and I'll be three up save now. Yeah. So, oh, aye. So call the battle, extra attacks. So we're going to see if we can get some yeah. extra mortals because I need, um, what is he, on 13 and 16 and he's got in total? He's got, he's got three wounds left. So, yeah. So three I just, sixes and I'm dead. Two, two, two sixes. Oh, because you're... Because I'm two yes, mortals. Two, two mortals, yeah. yeah. Two sixes. So four guys is 16, 17 attacks plus the extra oh. four. I'm on 21 of these attacks. Two... Four, six. You get no sixes, it's going to be hilarious. I mean, it's, I feel as though it has happened already <laughs> once or twice, but I have not rolled any sixes when I thought I would. So, uh, it's going to be threes and twos. Yep. Um, there is oh, only one six. Wait there. Only oh. one six. Right, two moles. So he's on one wound. He's on one wound, and now I just have to absolutely You've flourish. You've got to kill him with a tap. I can't believe that. Uh, he might survive. Well, at least survive for now, and then I potentially do mortals again. Does it? Two Thank you. Yes. So these are twos for yep. this one. It's looking good, though. Looking very promising. Weight of dice, I might get you, though. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Was yeah, it three ups? 
Fair three ups. On Nine three day. ups. You can't fail well, four one. So far, yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'll the lock first over. Four. So, big shark gone. Big turtle. Big turtle gone. Do you like calling the shark? I do. I just, I don't know. I feel as though the the, the list is themed. There's many sharks. Um, maybe I'm just a fish racist. <laughs> that might be the problem. So. Oh, it's fish up the same to you. God damn it. So from there, what we would probably do is do I strike and fade on that? I don't need to. Because you would have to teleport. Yep. So we would do battle shock. I have. Well, I oh, he needs to attack back. Yeah, sorry. Um, uh, I'm all out defensing on this. Screw it, I'll do it. I'll, keep I'll all out attack. With my free one. Yep. Was there, there was some wound counters on them or not? Yeah, I took it off. Oh, wait, no. They don't heal until the end, so I'll put the. I think it was a it was three. three yeah. yeah. It was over here somewhere. So That's I okay. It. Uh, Get me back. The Spectre, twos and threes. One missed. One save for minus two. This was an all out defense, so it's a six up. It fails. Two damage. Two damage, kills one. Kills the, the one. Oosh. Careful. God damn it, sorry. Is that lined up all right? Yeah, uh, just follow the, the tape. Spectre, uh, his little shitty staff misses three. Oh no, all out attack, one hits. Fours, misses. Okay. Now 2d6 attacks from the fish. Four. Fishy boys, to be fair, I think the fishy boys will do more damage Ten. than anything else. Woo. Yeah. They're actually, they're, they're not bad. Well, it's you, like fours and fours, but like I'm just on a, the amount of attacks. I'm on a three up save with the all out defense. If you got rid of one, you put, you know, like, get a good good couple of hits and you there's might no be able to do no, no, no rent. No rent. Oh, okay. The fish. Uh, <laughs> you know what I haven't done, which I might start doing in the future, just constantly unleash fish puns nah. at Dan, because... <coughs> they all missed. Uh, they all they missed. All, they all missed, failed to win. Oh. Yeah, that's it. So, uh. Where is your cod now? <laughs> God damn it. I'm not going to burn them all today, <laughs> but I've just, I've just had a flurry of loads of them going in my head. I'll never play a deep kid again now. <laughs> no. Right, so we would do a uh, battle shock. I lost one. Yep. I had a command point left. I don't even think I can run on that, actually. So, uh, not that it'll matter, actually. No. Yep. And that was the end of the battle round four, wasn't it? So I'll spend it. They don't run. Scoring, one, two more. Battle tactic was intimidate. Eradicate. Sorry. eradicate, sorry, it was eradicate. I changed it, yeah. didn't I? Eradicate, which is achieved. Yep. So I'll score full five. Yeah, five. Now, and 90. Yeah, and now what will happen is we would roll off, and then if you're behind me, which I think Dan is now, so you get, I get it. priority, but also Dan's behind on points. So You I think, can now close up the two objectives. Yeah. But uh, I think... I think we just call it there. Yeah. Because the um, we'll talk it through. Yeah, yeah. Because see what you could score but if you were to take it. What would you do? The, the I could I could close two objectives now, which I would. You have could close to do. two objectives and make it a one objective game. But the problem is, is that I can't retreat from that combat. You can't, but you could lift yourself with the spell if you pass it. So I'd probably, I'd Maybe probably close this one. What the other tree revenants? Nah, probably this one and this one. Okay. And then hurt hurt them. Tele teleport over there and try to charge and kill them is my only way. Do you want us for the sake or of it? I mean, actually, there's only a couple of rolls, so we can roll that if you want. Could I uh, pass the two nines? I guess actually, no. yeah, actually, I would do it the other way. So I'd, I'd block there and there and then yeah. charge that. So you want to land, land here? Yeah. So do you want to like. Uh, I'll just roll, uh, roll for primal. Roll for primals. Oh. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah two primals. Two primals. Yeah, yeah. I'll cast it, the teleporting spell. Seven. Uh, uh, well, 14. 14, yeah. So let me try my 2d6 first. Yep. Um, I would have, knowing this, actually, she's probably in range, but I would have heroic willpower to worst case. Uh, I wouldn't oh be able God. to stop it. So you would get the teleport off. So you teleport. You would then roll. Do you, do you yeah, shoot? And then, like. Oh, wait, wait, what? Did you close these two edge ones? Yeah. So but we it might. It may, it's not uh, of consequence. Just roll. But yeah, but basically, so that's actually. So basically, it doesn't really matter, anyways, because whatever happens, I would ch charge. So yeah. Uh, and then if I charged, I would either possibly draw. I would have to kill her. She's the worth two. The best I could get is one point there. So it would be two points, which would put me behind you. Well, one and more. Um, will yes. you, will so, you charge? Well, so no, you... because that doesn't matter. Because uh, I would get sixteen, and you're nineteen. 
Oh, yeah, it's but you, I'm saying you might not even score that if you wanted accurate score. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, just, it's fine. Yeah. And then my, my end... So I'm f either 14 or 16 at the end, and my, you would have got your grand strat. My end, so I would have got grand strat um, for an extra three. My end, I would have probably took that back off you, I'm going to say. If I took it, you probably would have killed me. Yeah, so like we're looking at one, two. Well, sorry, one more, not two, because you've gotten rid of yeah. objectives. So I'm getting two battle tactic for intimidate, because I can then do that. Well, so you actually didn't even need to kill me. I only count as two, so you would just need to hoard true. yourself on yeah. the objective. So I would do intimidate for two. I would do... One and more yeah. for four. Grand strat for three to take me to seven extra, which puts me on 26, I think. Was that right? I was on 19? I don't remember. You were 22 for your grand strat. Oh, then, uh, so then add on four. So 26. 26, yeah. Cool. And that would be Yeah, GG. GG. Good game. Yeah, it was a... Uh, um, some hard... Yeah, it I, was, it I was felt tough. like it was going well, but it just like constantly little things didn't work for me, and then it just added up. The uh, the mid game swing was definitely Belfinos noticeable. Just not like taking so many wins and just being like loads of fives. Yes, the the wards were really good to keep. It basically cost you one more battle round, and then it was yeah. like all of your strike first battle round three was agree, spent on Belfinos. Yeah, no, it was a good model. So like then I, when it came to me, I just thought right, I'll stay away. I'll play to get close off the objectives and kill the rest of your units that I know yeah. can't kill me back. Because if I'd went in that shock, you'd probably kill half yeah. that unit. Um, and then, for, for me, I think on, it's basically closing this objective was the big big swing for me. Yeah, that was good. If I'd left it open... I would have had a possibility for more. You would have had a one, maybe a, a, a two and more. Yeah. If you took them two, yeah. So I feel as though like, I had to close an objective. All your guys were here with no real easy way for you to get anywhere else. Um... D3 more, yeah, I took three more. Really not anything at Geminids. Like, I brought Geminids today, and yeah. the, the spell's so good. Uh, just being able to basically, like, you can't, every phase for one turn, you can't do any commands. Yeah. So, no out of defense, no all out attack, no battle shock pass. No redeploy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a total, oh, no, no unleash hell. Unleash hell. Yeah, yeah. not that it's that great. matters for me. It just shuts down. But, uh, yeah, I think I do like this list, so I think I'll give it another couple of goes with this. But, uh, yeah. It's a good place. Yeah. I like Deepkin lately. The the core of the Deepkin is them. good. Yeah. I'm feeling them. I've got them fully painted now as well. Yes. I'm, uh, I've added some skulls to my spite swarm yeah, hive. Yeah. Some skulls. There's God about damn four it. skulls on there. I've put some skeleton hold contrast yeah, on. Shocking. That's what I did last night. That's it. So, uh, no, I mean, as I said, this was, my, this was my tournament list that I took to the um, Rotten Seagulls Coastal Clash last week, which got a 2 1. Yeah, nice. Which was pretty good. Um, only very, a minor loss in the last game, which I'll take. Uh, oh, that's a good list. Yeah, I mean, it's it's winter leaf. It, yeah. it eliminates a core mechanic. If the tree lord stays alive and you've got horde, he absolutely messes with a unit of sixty yep. models because he just says no pile in. Only one of you can hit us. Yeah, yeah. which is insane. It's really good. Um, so it was a tough list to go into. I've in a sense brought my A game, and you brought the extra shock, but yeah. it might not be necessarily the 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 optimal list of what you want. Yeah, obviously you, you're I don't know. By I do like this list. Yeah. Uh, I'm humming and hawing about taking out the king because he does really well but at the same time it's a lot of investment I, yeah it's a lot of investment um but i don't know i need to think what to do with the deep kin much uh so far i like this this is the list i'm probably going to run for a bit i like the sharks i like the turtle yeah the, it's shark. the sharks and whatever yeah. my list is going to be it's going to be sharks and turtle uh, so yes everyone that, that that's basically been your report today yeah well, um so i've taken yeah. the win deep kin will no doubt come back yeah. with vengeance at one point I um, expect to see you got away. Aye. He'll be back. Yeah. More sharks. So until next time, yeah. um, from myself, Jordan, and from yeah. Dan, bye. Yeah. See you later. Bye.